All right, looks like we're live. Let's see when this computer pops on. Got a couple cool things. Thinking about doing, I'm gonna do a uh, pyramid. I've got it kind of started. Finish it up. JK, what's going on? Appreciate you hanging out or stopping in anyway, but you always hang out and I always appreciate it. You are the man. What you getting into today? Got three people in here. Appreciate you guys. I was thinking if we get to 30 likes today, I'm going to do a giveaway for a silver quarter and some stickers. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but you know, it's free. Curated by myself and a couple stickers to go with it. So we get the 30 likes We will give that away today So I will stick that right here Okie dokie So, you know, somebody pops in, just remind, remind me to uh, say something, or you can remind them if you want. Serpent Silver, hello. Did you send me mail? I think I got mail from you. And I'd like to open that while you're here, so that'll be cool. So, last night, I attempted to put this in sand and see what happened. Now, the only thing is, see how it's got those lines right there? Well, the lack of a line. <laughs> you can see some sand got stuck. I think what I'm going to do is try to maybe either glue it or stuff some sand in there and see what happens. So I'm not sure how great this is going to turn out, but I love pyramids, and I know people are into that, so I want to try to do it. It looks pretty cool. There's some pretty decent lines. A couple of them are rounded off. It popped out a little bit, but what I did is I took it and just jammed it back in there and pushed it down a little bit more and then pulled it back out. And I think it'll be all right. I've seen some pyramids that are like pretty rounded off and it doesn't have the lines like the 90 degree angles like this one does. So I think this one will look really cool. So we are going to do that. And what I'm going to do is put a hole right through the bottom of it and then uh, pour it in that way from the top. This was the bar the other day all cleaned up. Ended up looking pretty cool. I stamped a CC on it, although the one C is a little too far. I don't really like it, but whatever. It's there. There's big stamps. That was the first time using that big C. So I realized that I need to be a little bit closer when I'm doing it, but... What are you gonna do? These are the pieces I cleaned up. We're gonna melt these down. Unless anybody's interested, I will let them go. But uh, I think I'm gonna melt these down. This was that one finished up. I think that looks pretty good. And I left the back that greenish kind of tinted to it. So that was a cool piece. That'll be up for sale. And then, I don't know if you guys guys have noticed the runes that they're coming out with where they spray, or not spray them. Obviously, they painted them with some kind of paint that glows in the dark. I don't know if you guys seen those. Those are really cool. But I've been planning on doing these myself for a long time. So I'm thinking about these. These are keychains that I bought purposefully for that. So this is, means transform. This means protection. And this means warrior. So I've been, I bought these probably a year and a half ago and just never got around to it. But those ones, I don't know who's doing it. Um, 
but one glows red, one glows green. I don't know what the other color was, but those are cool, man. I really like those a lot. Carol Clark, hello. So yeah, yesterday I got it ready. So we're gonna pour this today and see what happens. It's this pyramid. See if it'll work. I might have to end up, I might just try to glue the ends of them. I don't know, it's tough because it's either gonna fall down in it and not really do the job, or I could try to stuff sand in it and that kind of works, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna try it, you know? We can always melt it back down. Damn, we had seven people in here and that's back down to four. I was gonna say, if we get to 30 likes, I'm gonna give away that silver quarter. So make sure you hit the like button. <clears throat> Germania, yeah. Those things are really cool. And I kind of want to do this soon, too. The only thing is, because it has a back to it, it's kind of hard. I'm going to have to probably do it from this angle and just do it all the way, the width of this. Because it can't really, you know, it's a small area to go in. But I don't, I don't want to mess up any of the writing. And then I was thinking, how am I going to stamp it even? So I might just stamp three nines fine, like right in the middle of it and just put the weight on a COA, but that's a cool piece. I tried to do, I don't know if you guys remember when I had this, it was in, it was like a crayon. Um, because sometimes like you'll see, like it's missing a little bit on the nose there. So I gotta figure out how to get hot glue to, to be better. But with a crayon, it's perfect, but I ended up breaking it. When I was rolling it, it broke and so and it ended up not looking good anyway. So I was attempting to do that today, but didn't didn't work out. Pouring is not easy, let me tell you. So if we can get 10 people in here, I wanna open up this mail. Got some mail from Serpent Silver that I was not expecting, so that was pretty cool. And I guess I'm going to end up melting this down too. I'm just, it's so hard because it's such a cool piece, but it's just not perfect and I'm too much of a perfectionist. Now I did take this, the Marines piece, and grind it down the edge so it's not reeded because it would have looked dumb not being reeded just at the top where the sprue comes in. So I made it nice and flat. I don't know if I'm going to get the details in the back because see these little pieces right here? I know sand is going to end up getting stuck in that, so I don't know. Maybe if this is the side I push on, and then there's a gap here that I have a feeling isn't going to be great. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one, but I'm going to try that at some point. Probably not live because it's going to be one of those intricate ones that I got to make sure I'm doing it right and not thinking too much. <laughs> So many tools. Man, I was going through the shed this weekend and I've got crap everywhere. That one's a little bit nicer. I was trying to do some spring cleaning. I need to make a dump run. I think I figured out why every time I go into the shed, it gets real blurry. I had the computer down there with me and as soon as the computer kicked in, it went blurry. So I guess there's like a a cross wave happening and it just makes the camera go blurry so I don't know we'll see what happens Joseph what's going on you want to eat some greasy food oh that reminds me I gotta feed this cat <clears throat> he's not gonna stop bumping me the whole time if I don't give him some food there you go buddy See, I was hoping to maybe do an auction this weekend on Friday, but I might have to push it back till next week because I want to make sure I got enough stuff to go. I'm still kind of leaving it up in the air. I hate doing it last minute, but I'm so damn indecisive. I have plenty of other things that I'm willing to let go of, so it could still be fun regardless. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 
If I do, it's not going to be a six-hour win like the first two were. You know, three, three, maybe four hours tops. And then maybe just do one every two weeks. The last turnout wasn't as good as the first turnout, but I expected that anyway. But at the top of every hour, I always give away something. Usually a silver quarter or... I don't even think I've given away a silver dime yet, although I have a bunch of dimes ready to do that. But uh, Muscle Shell, what's going on? If we can get to 30 likes today, I'm going to give away that silver quarter with the stickers. So, we got four of them. Make sure you hit those like the like button for me, guys. We're going to pour a pyramid today. Got everything set up outside. This was what we did last Thursday. I wanted to try to make a one pound copper bar. I think it turned out pretty good. I gotta finish stamping it. I did put a CC on it, which, man, I almost wanna melt it back down and do it again. Oh my God, guys, did you, <laughs> if you were here last week, did you see the bug right before I poured this? A bug was sitting right on the mold. How it didn't burn its little feet because I had just heated the whole thing up is beyond me. I couldn't tell what it was, but I was sitting there tapping the side of it, and all of a sudden, it just jumped into it. So it offed itself in the copper bar. Can you believe that? <laughs> I was like, dang, you don't see that every day. I was going to make a short out of it, and then I noticed that it offed itself, and I was like, dang. I never posted it. I still I had it set up, but I never did end up hitting the post button. Also, check it out. I took a computer apart and got all that gold right there. I was told that you can pull these out, and that's solid gold. So, I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know. Can I just pull these off, and that's solid gold? Or does it have to be refined somehow? I know this has to be refined to get it off of that. And that's all gold, too. It was an older computer, so... Apparently, these are, like, awesome. You don't get this anymore in computers. At least that's what somebody was telling me. Oh, and everybody has these um, poker chips. And I was thinking about making a poker chip. So I went to Live in Baltimore, and I kept one of these $5 chips. And I like it because it has little indents right there. So I'm thinking about making silver CC. I'm going to stamp it with the CC on it in the front. Probably that big one. Or I don't know. Maybe not the big one, but so I'm going to make them out of silver and you're going to get a chance to, to buy those at an auction. I was going to maybe do this one, but it, if this was indented, the designs, then it would look cool. But because it's not, I'm just, you know, it wouldn't, I don't know. And then I was thinking about maybe, um, sending them, sending them out and having him engrave, not engrave, but I guess it, it's a laser and it burns it on and then have him put like the CC on it. That would be cool. But then I was thinking about gluing two together maybe and making a thick one. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. But I like this one because it has the indents right there. I just wish it was more thick. But that'll probably weigh an ounce. Damn, every time we get people in, we keep leaving. I was trying to get to 10 so I can open this mail. It's all right. I'm going to do it anyway. Let me read these comments. Give me some greasy food. Okay, I got that. We had crabs over the weekend for the first time. And I almost went live while I was making them. Because I have an amazing recipe for crabs. And, uh, man, they did taste amazing. It was mixed number ones and mediums. But, uh, yeah, first crabs of the year here in Maryland. They're finally uh, catching crabs. The leaves are all up on the trees now. It's crazy how fast that happens. You have a CPU, but don't know. Is that what this is, a CPU? This little piece? The problem is it has this on the back. But I was told that you can just pop these off and they're solid gold. It's got to be a hundred of them, maybe more. So if I can take some like little needle nose pliers and pop them off and melt it down, that'd be a decent amount of silver just with this. 
Otherwise, I'll have to send it to a refiner and see what happens. The average collector, hello? All right, well, anyway. So I got this the other day, and I wanted to open it. Because I still have all that old mail to do, and we're going to get into that soon. I'm going to open up all that old mail I got over the past two years and then do my giveaways with it. And that was supposed to be like the 1K thing. Well, now we're at 1500 so I was thinking, what do you guys think about maybe this Friday just having a 1K slash 1500 party, subscriber party, and, and, you know, just hanging out and giving stuff away, opening the mail and then giving it away in a live stream. I think that'd be more fun. I'm not going to get as many videos out of it, but people don't really watch mail call videos that much anyway, since I've been back, you know. I'm lucky if I get 50. So I think watch hours and everything would be better to do it live, but we'll see. But I was curious what you guys think. So check this out. I was just talking about that too. Serpent Silver. Stacking, collecting. That's a cool sticker. I like that. This is my first poker chip. Can you believe that? Seven stacks. You hear? Eat your heart out. <laughs> she has like, it has to be at least 30 of them. Let's check this bad boy out. This is so cool. I was just talking about how I want to. See, this is a real one that I, I got and I kept it. It's a little bit smaller, not much, but it's a little bit smaller. The thickness is not as thick, so yeah, that's what I don't like. But the fact that if I make it silver, and you'll see the little indents, that will be cool. But yeah, check this out. This is my first one. Oh man, I really like that. Don't tread on me. I fly a Gadsden flag out front on my porch. I have American flag on one side and the Gadsden flag on the other. And then um, I actually have one of those. It's like, it's one that hangs down. It's not really a flag. It's like, you know, like there's a metal piece that goes across and it sticks in the ground and then it just hangs down. But it says, don't tread on me, the yellow one. Same as that. But man, I love this design. I actually bought a silver round not too long ago because I like the design so much. I actually have a, I got a couple things, man. I got a bunch of stuff, and I was thinking about giving some of it away. I got a couple stickers. One's black and one's yellow. It says, don't tread on me. And then I have almost like a parking sign that has it on it. And then that thing that's on my desk that you hang up, it's kind of got the flag, the U.S. flag and that flag, but very cool design. I like this a lot. For my first one, this is freaking awesome. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. <clears throat> I do appreciate it. This is Capital Currency. You said you didn't have any. So I hope this makes it in time. Yup. I don't have any others yet. You are the first. Enjoy the sticker and poker chip. Serpent Silver. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Faux show. Man, I got so many stickers, guys. It's... It's crazy. I need to either hang them up or do something with them. I was thinking about hanging up, hanging them up on like the uh, background of my uh, desk there, but doing it in a way where I just take a piece of tape and stick it to it because I want to keep the sticker as like sticker form. Once I stick it to it, it's there, you know. Awesome, man! That is so cool. I really appreciate that. We got to keep that in the uh, picture there. So yeah, if you're just joining, we are going to do a pyramid. This is what I 3D printed. Actually, it had a top part to it too, but it was kind of like you could see through it and I didn't think it was gonna turn out very good, so I ended up taking it off. Another period, pyramid I'm gonna do is this one at some point, all three, because I've never seen this in silver anywhere. So that's gonna be a cool one. We're gonna do that soon. But um, yeah, it's just kind of weird because you know, there's gaps in the side there. You can see some of the 
dirt stuck and then some of it pulled out too but i took it and put it back in there and pushed it down a little bit further so it should be good there might be some pieces rounded off a little bit but i've seen some of these that are extremely rounded off so i think it'll look good bill snodgrass what's going on So this is around. I got to clean this up a little bit. It's got that little spot in the middle there, but this will be up for grab soon. It's not going to have a CC stamp on it. It's just going to be around. And then this one I decided not to melt down because of those cool colors. I really like it. So we're going to stick with this one. So those will be up for grabs at some point. And I think this I am going to melt down. I just don't like how it's got that pitting in it. And I figured out how to do it now to where that doesn't happen. Of course i gave those away but i want to i'm thinking about making another one so i can put a 1k on it like i did for can can in that circle i did 1k for his 1k party and i think i want to make one for me to give away but this one is not good enough so that'll be melted down too i might clean that and melt it actually i'm going to clean this up real quick I don't like to put dirty stuff in the furnace. I heard it'll just burn off, but still. I like to have everything as clean as possible. You tend to get a little bit of uh, impurities from the crucible sometimes anyway. So I don't want to make it any worse. That's why I got that cleaner thing, but that... The ultrasonic cleaner kind of, I don't know, man. It, 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 it does some crazy stuff sometimes. It's like it's trying to clean it too much. So, yeah, it's a little, a little cleaner now. Feel comfortable throwing that in. And so you can see this one, I took it in from the top. That was the sprue right there. And now what I do is I put it in. And I have a piece that comes out here this way. And then the sprue comes in this way. But it's on like an angle. So it's like it comes in like this. And then I have a piece that goes out so it can breathe, you know, get the gases out of it. And that worked out perfect. Everything was really smooth. No, Obi. Obi. Man, I was hoping maybe my delivery came. I ordered something off of the TikTok shop. It's um, boxes for charging your phone or whatever, but you can uh, put it in the sun and it'll charge up that way. I have a few of them already, but man, these things were like $9 each. It was crazy because I was a first time buyer, plus they were like 50% off or something on top of that. So I paid like a quarter of what they were going for. So I got four of them. <clears throat> Garita, hello. Down south, picking and stacking. What's going on? I like the name. I was just playing some guitar earlier. I'm sure that's why you call, or why do you call your name? Why are you uh, picking? Is it because you pick a guitar or is it because you pick like um, antiques or something? That sort of thing. <clears throat> Both, I hear that. Yeah, I was thinking, man, I was like practicing earlier a little bit because I'm, I'm really rusty. But like I got on the drums, man, and it sounded great. I was like, dang, maybe I should go live and play some music. <laughs> I play my own stuff. I don't know how to play any songs or anything. I just jam. But uh, then I picked up the guitar and it didn't sound that bad. I play a lot of power chords and, and um, you know, taught myself how to play. So I, I don't really know 
chords and songs and all that, but I can make it sound good. But I got a full music studio downstairs. At some point, we're going to go down there and, and play and hang out a little bit. Got a full DJ set up. I was a DJ in a former life. I put out a house CD and a drum and bass CD. And then the third one I never ended up putting out. <clears throat> It's been probably 12 years since I've done a party or a show. But yeah, trying to get back into playing again. Trying to play a little bit every day, but I haven't been doing that for really a couple months. And so, uh, you know about guitar. If you don't play it every day, it's you suck pretty much as soon as you don't play for a week. At least I do anyway. Bluegrass, man, that's cool. I, I got my grandfather's, he passed away, and I got his upright bass, huge bass, and um, I got a mandolin, which I don't really know how to play. I mean, I can make it sound okay, but, and then my mom got his banjo, and I would love to learn how to play banjo, but man, it's so much different than guitar, but I know a lot of times... Like you're picking, it's more about the chords, not necessarily, you're only really pressing down one fret at a time, it looks like. I don't know though, I've never played it, it's just when I watch people, it, it doesn't seem like you gotta do a lot of like chords with a banjo, so I don't know. But I've always wanted to learn how to play that. And the upright bass, that thing's cool, I'm not great at it, but I can make it sound good. I'm going to try to record a song with it. So I have a full recording studio in my house that I've been working on for probably about 25, 30 years. And, um, yeah, about 25 years. And so I have pretty much everything in there. I think I have like 11 guitars. I used to have three drum sets, but now I just have one. Sold those. Um, a bass and an amp. A bass amp too, but... I've been just doing everything in GarageBand in the computer. There's so many different types of amps that you can use and pedals and things like that. I have a lot more fun just hooking it up to the computer and kind of jamming out. Less fretboard, yeah, that's what it seems like. Practice me and sore fingers, amen. See, my fingers don't even look, I don't know, you probably can't see that, but usually it's a little bit white, and right now it's not, <laughs> so you can tell I haven't been playing. So I was thinking about going out of the corners here, and having a little bit of breathing room, or I could just do one on each corner straight out, but that's where I'm pouring, so... I do need it to go out and up. So I'm thinking I'm going to find the right tool. Where is my red one? Oh. I'm just going to go out each one here. And then do it at an angle. So where I'm pouring, I don't have to worry about anything splashing in the hole. And if I go out each corner, just like I already did on the other side, should have enough breathing. Enough breathing room. I don't want to pour or push into this too much. So I'm trying to... Not mess it up, you know what I mean? Should be good. I need my little guy. I use a toothpick and I made this thing like I took sandpaper to it and made it real thin. That way the holes are kind of small. Although it probably doesn't matter that much on this. But because I'm gonna make the hole in the center here. The sprue is going to come right in through the center. So I'm going to be pouring the silver this way. And so I want I want for the, um, the smoke to be able to get out. And so when I do this, I'm going to do it on an angle out as far as away as I can from where that hole is going to be. <clears throat> a 
like that. See how it's way out of the way there. It doesn't matter how open the hole is here because it's not going to be able to pour out. I might do one at the bottom, but I don't know. I don't think I need that. See, it can breathe out. Usually I try to have these holes very small so that the silver doesn't go spewing out of it. But today, it doesn't matter, luckily. Because I did it on that and this should be enough room. You really just need enough for the gases to get out. Like you don't need anything crazy. Damn, I can't even see where that was. Here? Yeah. So I played my one of my demos on the last auction. And it says <laughs> copyright on it. I think that only matters if you're getting paid, but... It was my damn demo, but of course you're playing other people's music. But I thought because it was like 20 years old that maybe it wouldn't be in the system. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Same kind of looks. I need to make sure that this is not going to... Mess me up here. I'm gonna make sure. See how it, it's kind of bumped a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that that is not gonna give me a bunch of flashing. said this is just for some extra breathing room I think that should be good bad boy I must hate to do it because you can see the little lines it's very hard to see but I'll probably end up taking it to a sander and just flattening it out anyway I'm gonna try to get as perfectly in the center as I can here Toothpick will probably do it. See the difference? The difference in size of the toothpick. That's a regular toothpick, and that's the one that I use for the holes. But actually, you know, to make sure this thing breathes really good, I might just do a regular one. Because I don't need it to, it's not going to be sitting up on its side, so. I think we are going to make these nice and big. I 
If we can get 30 likes, I'm going to give away that silver quarter today. YouTube is not affiliated with giveaways on this channel in any way, shape, or form. Make sure you read the guidelines. And you must be in the U.S. And you must be 18. And I'll probably just pick a number or something. Like I usually do. See, when it's not when it's side like this, you don't have to worry about it falling out. So, you want it to be nice and big. That way, all the gases can get out and hopefully get as much detail as possible. Dove season, what's happening? Yeah, some Pink Floyd. I'd like to learn how to play some Pink Floyd, but I, I purposefully never learned how to play songs because I wanted to be as original as possible. It's kind of dumb though, because you really have to know how to play other people's stuff to come up with your own stuff. If that makes any sense, but then I don't know. It's, you got to learn how to play, you know? So playing other people's songs really teaches you how to play, especially if it's a certain type of music. Like, I, I do rock music slash, like, sometimes it might have, like, a hip-hop beat to it. Um, the one song I made, the last one I made, had a little bit of a rap to it. And then I was singing in the chorus. But I like to just make songs up myself, man. I'll just put a drum track down and play the drums all the way through or make a beat, and then I'll add guitar, then I'll add bass that will add some synths or something like that uh, keyboard who knows and then uh, try to add lyrics to it but I'm always terrible at lyrics yeah you learn techniques that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say it's like you know I want to be as original as possible and everything I play is is me but yeah learning the techniques and everything but it's also bad when you're trying to be original having too much of these techniques. I don't know how to explain it. But um, that's what Kirk Cobain was always saying. He never learned any, any songs like that. And techniques and like the blues, um, you know, like playing lead guitar and that kind of stuff that everybody pretty much tries to learn. Arpeggio, I guess, or whatever it is. <clears throat> scales, that's what I was trying to think. Learning scales, but... Yeah. I just jam. So it's a lot of power chords. High quality baking pan? No, that's from the dollar store. <laughs> I do have a high quality one. Sitting over here though, I just I'm not using it because it's kind of big. This is the smallest one I have. Dollar store all day. I don't want to push this out, so I'm trying to. As easy as possible. You can already see it pushed up a little bit. Normally I would just push all the way through it. This thing is kind of long. And I can see that it already... I'd already pushed it up a little bit. I think you can see that. But when I get done with it, if it looks good, I'm going to... The, the bottom will be all flattened anyway. You won't notice any of that crap. And I think this one might actually be big enough. I don't know. 
or you should push it all the way. Again, if we get 30 likes today, guys, I'm going to give away that quarter right there with the sticker. So make sure you hit the like button for me. How many we got now? Nine. We're getting there. Got 12 people watching. Hit the like button, and somebody will get a chance to win that. It's a 1942D silver quarter, 90% silver. And right now, I'm working on this. So we're going to pour this uh, pyramid. That bad boy. I want to show you the other one. I think I have one sitting here. Yeah, see, this is what it originally looked like. Man, there's so much crap on top of it. That's what it looked like originally, but you can see the little piece right there it was tough. So I had to do another one anyway. But because that has a hole, I probably could fill it up with glue or something like that. And just leave it like so where it's indented a little bit but not hollow because it being hollow obviously i can't and it's kind of like a 2d type of type of deal so but this one didn't have those little jacked up pieces right there this one was a lot better 3d printing is uh not always easy but the bottom of it I like the bottom of this one. It, it's pretty smooth, but not that that's really going to matter that much. We got 10 likes. 20 more likes, and we'll give away that quarter. I don't always give stuff away in live streams, but I did one last one. I gave away a quarter ounce. Pretty awesome piece, too. And shoot, you never know. If we get to like 50 likes, I might even do something crazy. Oh, yeah. For those of you that might not have been here earlier i want to do these runes you guys seen the uh runes that are out now from germania mint and you take a black light to it and they light up different colors those are freaking awesome but i bought these like a year and a half ago and i'd always been planning on doing it and now that those are out i really want to do it so this warrior transform and protection i i think I don't know about this one. I think the one I, or maybe it was, maybe it was those two of what I saw, but I think they have this one too. These were keychains I got from uh, Five Below a while back. And I got my first poker chip. Serpent Silver sent me my first poker chip. Pretty cool. This thing is awesome. I'm going to pour my own poker chip, stamp a CC on it, and I'm going to have silver poker chips. It's a little bit thin though, so I don't know. I might have to get another one. I'm gonna have to take a trip to Baltimore. I think $5 is the smallest you can get. If you could get dollar ones, that'd be better. And I could glue two of them together. Charles Latre, what's going on? He says, what was your detail settings on the print quality standard dynamic or super fine? I, to be honest, I don't remember. Like I said, before many times it's uh it's been two years since i printed anything actually no probably about a year all the stuff i have is things that i when i first got it i just went crazy printing a bunch of stuff and i haven't even got half of that stuff done yet so i hadn't been uh working too hard man there is wasps flying all around out there i sprayed them yesterday but uh man I'm not trying to get hit by a wasp. I went out the door a couple summers ago, and they were down in the plug that's not too far from the door. And when I slammed the door, the sucker got me in my, right on the back of my, um, like my ankle on the back. My whole foot was swollen. When I would take my sock off, like you, <laughs> you could see an indent, like it was so bad, like my shoe didn't even hardly fit. It was crazy. So I'm hoping that I don't get bit by one of those because apparently I'm, a, I'm allergic to them. Got one of those little metal things in it. I want that to be in the sand. <sighs> Sorry. 
So I'm thinking I might want it bigger than that because it's a pretty big area. So I'm going to use this one. It's going to be a, a big screw, sprue to cut off, but That's going to give us plenty of room. And it already did what I needed it to do in the back. We're going to make it smoother, obviously, but I'm going to move that out of the way for now. And so now what I take is, if I can find it. This will work. You want to make sure it's flat. Is anybody doing anything fun this weekend? These are pretty cool too. I like using these a lot. You can just kind of drag everything off real easy. It makes everything nice and smooth. And I have a few of them and it's all different angles. But what you don't want is loose sand. So everything needs to be pressed down nice. sand comes off and gets down in there you'll notice it but that's looking pretty good we got a huge cavity to pour into If I was taking this up, like out this way, that's when these really come in handy. Like I said, I got a couple of them, like this nice wide one, and if I want it to be round, that's another one. And then you can get these type as well. That's a little round one.
but I've got tons of these things. You can never have too many tools. If you're just joining, make sure you hit that like button. At 30 likes, we're going to give away the 1942D 90% silver quarter and some stickers. Yeah, nail polish. I've never tried that. You know what I use? is this pergo wood glue this works pretty good too i never thought about nail polish that might does that make it hard too there's like this part i i did this thing in crayon because it was a mold right so i was trying to make it because when you do this it doesn't always fill out right there's some kind of air bubbles and stuff so i did one out of crayon and it broke and I was thinking, maybe if there was something I could have painted it with, or like some kind of spray paint or, or something that would have gotten hard, that would have been cool. I don't know if nail polish does that. But anyway, get on your own print issues, that sucks. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking. I don't want to lose any of the details, but like the guitar, Stuff like that, like you can see that's um, a bunch of glue. And it's really smooth. This one, I made smooth with the glue. So you can see, you don't see the lines in it. And then I'll take sandpaper to it also. This is another guitar I was going to do. What do you guys think about that? You think it'll look cool in silver? It's a bottle opener. You would never want to use it to open a bottle, but... I like it. This was one of my first um, sand casts ever. It was a copper. But yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of guitars I'm working on. It's a way to prevent the layers from grabbing the sand. Yeah, the layers can be weird sometimes, but sometimes they're awesome. Like, look at this. The layers on this, this thing looks so cool when it's poured. I got to do another one because it didn't fill out in the bottom here. I grabbed the wrong silver when I was doing it. This looks kind of blurry to me, but it just, it looks really cool like that. This is the only one, though, that I like like that. season you're heading to Flagstaff Sunday to hike and look for elk sheds man I went through the woods the other day I, I had a big ass like three foot four foot black rat snake I found behind my shed and I wanted to take it back in the woods and I was looking around I found a, a four point last year but the mice or squirrels something got to it already and it was all jacked up but um it was a whole skull but yeah I want to go over to the farm where we hunt and um, shoot, I wouldn't mind going down to the Eastern Shore and trying to find a sick of deer shed. That'd be kind of cool. But man, elk shed, that would be awesome to find. Do you find a lot of them? I've never even been to a place where there's elk. Print the store for your niece. Charles, you got those coins, right? Mushroom hunting? Man, I would love to do some mushroom hunting. I, last year, I came across a new park that's not too far from here. And it's an amazing place. I might even go live and, and walk it with you guys at some point. Because it's really cool. Um, it's like a river that's off of the bay. And, and it's pretty cool. But um, there's another one, another park that they just opened too. That you can see the Bay Bridge from this place. And you can fish. I mean, it's just amazing. 
But uh, yeah, I saw a bunch of mushrooms there and I started looking up mushrooms and then I realized that there's a lot of them that look like stuff you can eat, but they're not, they're poisonous. <laughs> so like, I don't know, I'm so nervous about it, but it'd be cool to find those ones, those, those cool ones that grow in poop. I like to find some of those. Haven't eaten those in years. I love mushrooms though. Any kind of mushroom is good. I, I really like portobello mushrooms. If I eat a raw portobello mushroom, it's like drinking a Red Bull. Like a 24 ounce Red Bull. It's crazy. I don't know what it is about mushrooms, but apparently I was born in June. I'm deficient in certain things and mushrooms have that thing. It has that mineral in it. Cherries, same deal. Onions, same thing. So those three foods, if I eat those, I always feel great and get a lot of energy. Matter of fact, I forgot. I have one of these in there. Oh, that's a good idea down south UV resin and then hit it with the black light and it hardens I didn't even think about that that's what I gotta try plastic dip is a sprayable plastic paint so it should work well yeah that sounds cool too yeah that's the, the thing Charles you know anything you paint stuff when you start to lose details it's a it's hard man it's really hard to figure out like what to do and have it look good like certain things like this this would look good and you see it's got that little mark which i don't even know if it's going to show up down in there and then i had this this is a hole and i glued the hole because i don't want it to i want it to be a, a bar i don't want it to have a hole there it's not going to be like a medallion I don't know why this would be a medallion anyway it's sideways it doesn't make any sense but i took two of them and printed them and then glued it together so it's nice and thick so this will be a bar at some point i might do that thursday yeah most of the time they do show but not always oh okay charles just want to make sure I, I forget sometimes I've had so many emails and back and forth and, and man if you guys ever come to one of my auctions make sure that you email me after the auction there were so many people that didn't email me I guess because they emailed me the first time and so I had to like, go back and look for everything again but um, it's just easier if after the end of the auction you email me all everything I need to know your name for payment, your name for YouTube, what your total was, what you got. I always do an invoice back, so I'll always tell you what you got and how much the total was. Um, but, but yeah, there was a few people that didn't do that. There was one person I had to wait a week to get their address. <laughs> and he does things like that. It was kind of crazy, but everything finally got out. Now is the time. Yeah, man, I gotta, I gotta get out there and look around. The ones I saw last year were at the end, end of the season. It was like, it was starting to get a little bit cold when I saw those other ones, which I thought was kind of weird anyway. Flagstaff is a three-hour drive. Man, I, you go to some amazing parks though, Dove season. I love your videos, doing some hiking. I want to do something like that at some point. I want to do some fishing videos too. I might go live next time I go fishing. Man, I wish I had been live when that Osprey came down and got stuck in my freaking line. I had to grab it by its neck and undo it. The sucker still got me. I took a talent to the arm, but that could have been way worse. <laughs> could have been way worse. But yeah. Son of a bitch, I had to grab it by his neck. There was a goose that was trying to get it because the goose was sitting on eggs. And when it got stuck in my line, the goose came over trying to fight it. So I'm reeling in this osprey. It wasn't hooked. It was just caught up in my line. 
So I reeled it in and saved it from the goose. <laughs> Although it probably would have messed that goose up if it wasn't, you know, in my line. But, uh, man, that was a crazy story trying to catch a, a bass and end up catching a freaking osprey. My daughter caught her first um, rainbow trout, though. That was pretty cool. They st There's a pond not too far from my house, and they stock it every year with trout in uh, March, I believe. So by June, they're all gone for the most part. And uh, usually within the first two weeks, they're gone because everybody goes there because they know that they're stocked. Man, there's a huge wasp flying around. I might have to spray that before we go out there. Yeah, Charles, I don't know if you heard the story about the Osprey last time. <laughs> it was that next day that I told the story. It was, it, I took her to, uh, we were going to go watch the, um, the eclipse because I took her there seven years ago when she was young and we took my welder's helmet. Well, this time she had glasses and I had the welder's helmet. I got a few pictures, but it's tough, man. My iPhone 7 does not like to take pictures. She's got three cameras, so it couldn't get it to really line up great on her phone either. So the pictures weren't all that great, but... But yeah, I, I was proud of her catching her first... Uh, that's the only fish we caught that day, too. But to catch a trout, like I've never even caught a trout, so that was pretty cool. Bullhead catfish. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. I don't know if I've ever caught one of those. We got channel catfish in some of the rivers in the bay around here. And then, um, you know, just regular river catfish. I don't even know what they're called. It's any kind of special name, but... Yeah, I was telling everybody too, that's the second time that I had to get a bird around the neck because I had a duck come up and try to steal my worm. It was a real worm, but I was not using that fishing rod. It was on the side. And a sucker came up from behind me and, and got it. And as soon as it plucked at it, I was like, crap. And I grabbed the rod real quick. It started taking the rod away, so I had to like you know, grab it by its neck to get it undone off of his beak. The hook was stuck in his beak. It's like, man, how is this going to happen twice to me at the same freaking pond? Two different birds. But that osprey was flying around. My daughter was like, do you think it's okay? And I saw one, then I saw another, then I saw a third. I was like, yeah, well, it's flying around. It's fishing again, so. Must be alright. You know what we have around here? Charles, we got um, snakeheads, and that just happened maybe 10 or 15 years ago. They weren't ever around here, but somebody had put them into a pond, and then it went from that pond to everywhere, and so pretty much every place you go now has some kind of snakehead in it, and everybody was all up in arms because they were talking about how invasive they are, but come to find out, they're really not that invasive. Yeah, they do eat a lot of shit, but... I had one I caught and I put it in the back of my truck for like an hour and a half. It's in the back of my truck and um, not in water, just in the back of my truck. I get back. It's still alive. Obviously, I think it's like two days they can survive out of water. That's crazy to me. Um, but yeah, I ended up putting it into a tank just to kind of let it swim again for a little while before I tried to eat it. And when I, when I cut into it, it had worms in the bottom of the meat, and I was like, nope. I heard that you can just cook it enough where it'll kill anything that's in it, but I just, I wasn't taking a chance. I threw it back in the woods. I was like, I'll let the fox eat it, because I have a fox back out behind the house that usually eats anything I throw out there. That and raccoons. Yeah, that's what this was. It was a mallard duck, but it got hooked in the beak. <laughs> it got the worm, but then the hook got stuck in its beak. And then later on, 
I didn't, I couldn't get it out, right? Because it had like a little, it's a treble hook, not a treble hook, not like the triple thing, but you know how it's got that little spur on it. And so I couldn't get it out. So I just cut it. So there was no line attached to it. And then later on, we saw it again and it ended up getting it out itself. So that, that worked out good. These ducks you can actually pick up. When my daughter was like seven, she thought it was the funniest thing. These ducks would come over to you because you could feed it. And uh, you throw some bread out to it, they'll come right up to you. And you can literally pick them up. And she picked one up and it was the funniest thing. I picked it up and handed it to her and she was holding it. It was funny. This is one of my favorite pictures of us out doing stuff like that. So I think we're probably good here. Just want to make sure. I need a wet paper towel. Trying to get any kind of loose sand. You can see that every time I do it, some of it comes off. But you can never do it till it's all out. It's always going to be something. Make sure it's packed down good. So dough season's doing some hiking. What's everybody else doing? Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? Why did I do that? I wasn't even going to go all the way. Damn it. Are you fucking serious? Ain't that a bitch? Oh, all that work for nothing. That's pouring. Well, damn it. I can't believe that just happened. We got the piece here. Uh, I mean, I could probably leave it like that, but then I'm going to be trying to stall it forever. And I can just put this back in and start over with the, that side. That was really dumb. 
I was just trying to go a little bit further too and I was going to stop and it was too late. I was thinking too, like, don't go too far with this. You're probably already going to. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not sure how it was in there too, but it's all right. I got to start this over, guys. Sorry. Everybody's probably leaving now. messing up you're not learning so there is that Damn. shit sorry guys um dang so you might not have noticed that I just I messed up and now I gotta start over on the other part I was trying to, I was pushing out the sand just a little bit and it popped out that. So I had to start over. So pissed off. I'm sitting here. I can't believe I was sitting here. You didn't even get to see it. Now I'm talking to myself for 10 minutes. I didn't have my phone plugged in. Oh, that's pouring. It's all good. It won't take too long to get this right. I'm gonna get another glove though. Oh, you can hear me talking? hear me talking you just couldn't see the video <laughs> we could hear your pain <laughs> yeah I probably don't even need to really worry about the fine part of it but I'm gonna do it anyway this is what happens when you pour it happens to even the best of the best I was trying to push it the backwards way well Obviously, if you can hear me, you know what happened. <laughs> we heard your pain. <laughs> Son of a bitch! You're all like, what? What? What happened? Good. I know exactly what I need to do now. I'll try to do it as fast as possible. We're going to do a speed rush on this one. See how fast I can get caught back up. That was really dumb. down good and it won't happen on this one that's why I was kind of holding off on the auction because you can want to get a certain amount of stuff done but crap will not work right like this, it takes you twice as long as it should. Yeah, I really don't want to sit that. Fucking jackass. 
excuse my language, but damn. These gloves are great, man. This is a seven mil glove. Having this crap all stuck to your hands all the time sucks. But you can reuse these. That's why I like them. You get those cheap ones, a lot of times you'll break them before you even get done doing something. But it works great for that sand. Um, when I'm trying to, when I'm running it through the, the little grater thing or whatever the hell you call this, for lack of a better word. Whenever you have cheap gloves and you're trying to rub it in there, a lot of times you'll rip the damn glove. These will not do that. And I can use them over and over and over. So I suggest uh, getting them seven mils if you can. That's what, that's what I'm using. Some people don't even use gloves, but I just can't stand having that stuff stuck all over my hand. Because it was so stuck in there last time, I was trying to pry each piece out a little bit, and uh, I think that's why some of them got a little jacked up here and there. So I'm hoping that won't happen again, but it's not going to come out like this. The more you, you start smacking it, like if I was to sit here and start trying to beat it on this too much, you don't want the, and this has a groove that goes all the way around it, but you don't want it to push out. So I might smack it a couple times, but I don't want to. you move it one way and not the other, it tends to jack with the process a little bit. That a bitch, man. See? I'm so aggravated right now. I had this thing looking good. Now it's looking stupid. See that little piece right there? I might be able to fix it though. Spots where that happened. And they're kind of like steps, even, so I don't want to scrap it because I can always melt it back down if it's not perfect. If I can't clean it up enough, you know, there's always that option. If you don't do it, then it's just like, well, you didn't do it, so you don't really know. Never said I was a professional yet. <laughs> Some of these pieces are kind of not perfect anyway. And to be honest, that's kind of what the pyramids are like. They're never really perfect. So I'm not that worried about it being exact. real pyramids aren't exact and they're rounded in certain spots and steps are missing in here and there and all that
Bus Ann, how's it going? What'd you say? Making pizza? Nice. All right, so look, what do you guys think? Go with it. You see some of these little corners, they're not perfect, but that's kind of how pyramids are. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe my chargers are coming. <laughs> oh, hush. You're all right. Be quiet. Erosion, yeah. Anxious stack, what's going on? No, there's this is all it is. It actually did have a, a top to it, but I cut it off because it was kind of hollow and I wanted to see what it would look like like this. I've seen there's a company that makes them, but it, it's not like the sharp corners like this one has, it's kind of more rounded. Fish was showing a couple of them. <clears throat> but yeah, I screwed it up. I had this, the whole, everything was ready to go. And then I blew it out. So I had to uh, fill this back in. I had to put that back in. And when I pulled it out, it didn't look as good. It could probably be cleaned up a little bit anyway. But you know what? There's plenty of erosion that happens. So I'm going to let it go. We're going to... Try to hurry up and get this thing going so I can at least be poured by 4.30. That's where these come in handy. piece out there too hey make sure you hit the like button i'm gonna do a, um if we get to 30 likes i'm gonna give away that silver quarter which you can't really see if you don't mind hitting the like button i would appreciate it Trying to hurry. I know, I know. Damn, this freaking idiot screwed it up. And like I was saying earlier, usually I wouldn't leave these open so big, but it doesn't matter because I'm coming in through the top. 
I just need to make sure everything can breathe good. Up pretty good on this one. I just want to make sure that it's the same as it was. I don't want anything off that lip. It goes down a little bit on that side, but so I'm trying not to push on it too much. And so we're going to do this like we did. such a big hole anyway. Actually, I might do this now. What do you mean I'm taking my time? I'm actually kind of going fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that good. I think this hole is probably big enough. I'm not going to do that big one like I did last time. I think just wiggling this one around a little bit will probably be good.
I remember always be watching Big Red do it, and he would do it so fast. I'm like, man, one day. But that day hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I am not fast. Which sucks for you guys, but sorry, I'm trying. That's why I had this ready, kind of, the one side, I had it halfway done, that way it would be quicker. And uh, I kind of screwed that up, huh? Do appreciate you guys hanging out with me, even through the mess ups. Keep wanting to push it through that way, but man, I'm scared now. Even a little bit. Don't want any sand falling into it when I'm pouring. That's why I'm, I'm always going to take my time at this spot. I think we're probably good enough. I'm getting very anxious to uh, actually pour. I'm trying to do the damn thing. Sorry, I'm not reading the comments because I'm trying to get the furnace going here soon.
everybody's still watching. I appreciate you. Should we do the same thing twice? But I think that that's good. I think we're going to give her a go. woke up this morning to an ant crawling on me. That's always an uncomfortable feeling when you get out of one of those big ass ants. Like how the hell does this thing even get in the house, first of all? It's the only thing about living by the woods. Snakes and ants and everything else. Should be good. Sorry about that, guys. How long did that take? About 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It wasn't too bad. Should have did that the first time. Been that quick. <laughs> Better not disappoint. Perfection ain't easy, that's for sure. Right, right. At least now we can get the damn furnace going. Jeez. And I am ready to burn one, so. Copyright. <laughs> could y'all hear that? I guess you could. That's one of the greatest bands of all time. 15 likes. We're halfway there, guys. <clears throat> Hit the like button. I'm going to give away that silver quarter when we get to 30. And now we can go get some stuff ready outside. I guess we'll just melt down some things. I feel like this cross and that stupid bar there. This thing, I almost don't want to mess with it. it. It stuck to the crucible and came off, and it's got that little bit of nastiness to it. We'll try to clean it at some point, but. I'm just going to melt all these down. I think that'll be enough. Probably add some shot too. <clears throat> see what we're working with here. That's about four right there. I can't have a whole lot extra. It's going to go all over the place. I don't want that to happen either. That's why I was trying to make it bigger last time, but that's four and a half ounces. That's five. I don't think it's going to be. I'm so bad at this. You can always stop pouring, right? I'm going to put six. Just to make sure. Because you kind of want double of whatever. I 
feel like that's probably three ounces. I just don't have a lot of room to play with. Three point nine five nine four. That was a little bit off on that one I had in there. So yeah, we're just gonna melt all this down and uh, you know see what happens. <clears throat> Crap! Now the man, I'm gonna run an extension cord. <clears throat> I'm gonna plug you guys in. So let me get an extension cord. Last time. Dude. Killing a fucking asshole. Keep your wasp spray handy. I got bit by a wasp, or stung by a wasp, the same one that was in that before, and I wasn't trying to have that happen again. So I had to get him out of there. Right, so this is going to be like that. Boom, it's ready to go. Let's go outside. I'm going to plug you in because it's going to suck if I go to pour it and it misses that. It's going to aggravate me. can see don't worry it's not close to the house see this is what I was I want to do this one man I think this will be a cool bar but for some reason it just doesn't like to suck the metal down into it so I was gonna try to heat it up with a torch real good when I got the gloves, you know, and then try to clamp it with this. I was gonna try that today, possibly too, but we'll see what happens. left over from that one four. I kind of like this one. I almost don't want to melt it. Yeah, whatever. I do have more shots though, so maybe I will hold off on that one. Thank you. 
and then then I'll live another day. Let's check this out. Oh yeah. The copper in it had a little bit left over. I don't know if you can see it, but so this is for copper. The other one is for uh, silver. I never mix them. Even like with brushes and stuff, like I have one of these. That's for silver. I have another one for copper. Try not to mix it as much as possible. Point, I'm gonna get a roof on this deck and have like a whole designated area that, that doesn't have wood underneath of it. It'll just be all metal.
likes. We get to 30, I'm gonna do a giveaway for a silver quarter. Silver melts at 1,763. I'm trying to get it to about 1,800, you know. Somebody just joined. Hit the uh, like button for me. We get to 30, I want to give away a silver quarter. I'll probably do it anyway. We get to 25. I'll probably do it. I love giving back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna pour all Surf and Silver. I'm gonna pour all new guitars. I'm gonna do number ones of every one that I already did. That's why I was trying to, I was gonna do it this Friday, but I think I'm gonna push it back to the following Friday. That way I can have some guitars. And some more channel rounds. I'm gonna do 10 more channel rounds. And then I wanna do a couple, uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna get done because they have to be sand casted. But uh, I'm gonna make some poker chips. I think the channel rounds, would you guys rather, the last ones were kind of, I guess, I guess you could say like a burnish kind of look, like it was a dull kind of silver. And I can either make these extra shiny and do one through 10 again, because I'm gonna do three versions. And it'll all be numbered one through 10. I already did the, the ones that were a little bit off shiny. And then I wanna do tone as well. So I don't know if you'd get, rather see the toned ones first or the shiny ones. You need number 14, antique. Antique is another thing. I haven't even done any antique. It's hard with channel rounds because the antique, you really don't see it except for like the stamps. It's easier to like antique stuff that has like a lot of detail to it. Rounds, it's a little, a little tough. But I'm gonna do that anyway. Even when they're shiny, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put liver of sulfur into like the CC and the number and a three nine's fine on the back. So that part will be antique. And then I'm gonna run them through the tumbler. But I'm only gonna do one through 10 first and then I'll start going up after that. The four leaf clover. Oh, you're retracted. I have some four-leaf clover stamps, but I haven't made a 3D print of a four-leaf clover yet. I do want to do that at some point because I am Irish. Looks like we're almost there. It looks melted, but I want to give it another minute or two. But, um, should 
forgot what I was saying. These wasps were flying around everywhere. It's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> at him but I missed. <laughs> you know what I found? I found a five five leaf clover. That was pretty cool. First time I've ever found one of those. I might even do a pour where it's like a four leaf clover and then I give away a four leaf clover with it because I found like six or seven of them and I put them into uh, like those baseball card sleeves. So I think that'd be cool. I think I'd rather do a four leaf clover than a three leaf though. But I don't know, it depends on what you guys are into. Whatever will sell, obviously, I'll try to do it. Let me get my safety gear on. Safety first.
top of that helmet on. Good Lord. See what we're working with here. Tails on me. Yeah, I didn't really have enough time to keep the bottoms looking not jacked up. So yeah, I clean that off. See how that had a little bit of a bump to it. Normally I'll heat it up more, but it was uh, running out of time. Like last minute, I realized. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Freaking wasp, man. Dude, get out of here. Ah! Other things went. These things suck. Oh, come on. Ready for the sound. Everybody loves the sound. Well, that was kind of uneventful. <laughs> he looks alright though. Definitely needs to be cleaned up, but. As I clean it up, it'll look good. Run it through the tumbler for a while.
get all the burnt sand off and then you can reuse what's left. try to save as much as I possibly can. Ain't wasting it. Just want to get any kind of black off. And then you can throw it back into the good stuff. Did you guys even see what I was doing? My bad. Just trying to clean all that out. Make sure I get all the burnt stuff off. That's pretty good. And I'll put that back into the stuff I'm using later. Cut these little pieces off. See what it looks like when it's done. about maybe trying to heat this heat this bad boy up and try to pour one of these real quick what do you guys think it never works for me I've tried it a couple times now maybe I just need to take my time heating it up real good I do want it to finally work right. If I take the torch to it and heat it up on the inside really good first. I don't know if it's a two or three ounces. 
I think if I poured three in it, it'd probably be good. We can try it if, if y'all want to try and see what happens. Let me know, yes or no. Forget to hit the like button. We get to, uh, we'll just say 25. 25 likes and I'll uh, give away that silver quarter with some stickers. three. I feel like that'll be enough. I don't want to contaminate anything. Let's try it with three and we'll see what happens. There's actually a little bit left in there. It's stuck to the side. Get it unstuck real quick. It'll stick until it's all the way cooled down. Get some kind of like metal shoot.
See, it doesn't suck it down in there. I don't think it works. Damn it. I don't know what is up with that thing. I think that definitely didn't work. I don't know what the hell's up with that thing. Definitely didn't seem like it sucked it down in there. Ain't no way. See, I don't understand. I heated it up pretty good. It's like that little hole is too small. It's like one of those ones that just doesn't ever want to work. Whatever. I guess that was a waste of money. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, what else can you really do? I tried. I think it's going to be one of those ones that just never ends up working. Got a couple crappy looking rounds. Some nastiness to it. Take, I'll take that brush to it and brush that off and then throw it in the tumbler. It'll be nice and shiny, but these are probably remelters anyway. That was just if I had extra. And look at that. That is the dumbest shit. At least this looks all right. Take it in and... Uh, Cut the pieces off. That's pouring, guys. <laughs> Doesn't always work out. Get inside. What are you doing? Thank you. 
Stuff to down. And I was going to pick up that crucible when I'm gonna touch it with the tongs. I could see a little bit stuff coming off of it. I think that's what ended up on top. <clears throat> Curious what they weigh though. Point eight eight, one point zero six, one point one three. See that one? I wouldn't let go just because it's funky. This one's kind of cool, but obviously I got to clean all that up, and that part right there isn't the greatest. But these are probably melters anyway. I just figured I'd show you. Last minute I pulled that out because I, I did, I'm just going to have to pour the extra somewhere. <clears throat> Balls Days, hello. Thanks for joining. Joseph Lopez, what's going on? If I missed anybody. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure you hit the like button. We're only at 16. I said if we get to 30, I was going to give away that silver quarter right there. 1942D. Um, but then I took it down to 25, so if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. We'll do a giveaway before I end the live stream. We gotta at least get to 25. And shout out to Serp and Silver for giving me my first. First ever poker chip. I like the designs on the side, too. And that is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to definitely clean it up, but it's not terrible. I've seen worse. But on the mold, I'm going to have to get something I can put in there. Because this one little spot right there. And right there a little bit. It just doesn't look as... Like, if they all look like that one, I'd be happy with it. It's still not bad, but... I can do better. I will do better. I need to 3D print a new one too. Try to look for another one. It's a pretty good size though. Cut this off. It's not going to be perfect because I'm going to make sure that that is off. And then these corners, I'm going to clean those corners up. But let me see about what it is. Three, 2.99. So by the time it's all cleaned up, it'll probably be 2.95. Is that a guess? <clears throat> Looks cool on the stand. Oh, too late. <laughs> you know what I should do is make something like this where it's sitting up, but it's like perfect. That kind of looks dumb. And then have like a little hole here so you can stick, stick it on it and just spin it and it'll just kind of like rock around. See, I'll take, 
actually. You know what? I'm going to clean this off anyway. Before it goes back in the furnace, it's got to be cleaned regardless. I like to clean it all off if it goes back in or not. But that's kind of like the burnish look like I was telling you guys. It's not shiny. It's like kind of like more of a dull look. That was the first rounds I put out. And the next one will be shiny, kind of like this one on the bottom. And usually I like to have it a little bit more heated up. That's why you should heat up your uh, molds because see how it's not completely flat? And you get that weirdness to it. I just didn't think about it till the last minute. But I like them to be flat. I don't like that. I couldn't stamp that very good anyway. But that's why you want to heat your molds up. Also, you're trying to get all of the uh, condensation out of it so that it doesn't explode on you. But that is another reason. I think I'm going to put a new... Uh, next time I... Pour some silver, I'm gonna break out a new crucible. Also, I need to clean those tongs. So I'll take some sandpaper to those tongs and clean them up real good. That way nothing comes off when I hit it. Cause I was trying to pull it up and it wasn't moving and it was kind of scraping it a little bit. And that's where that dirtiness came from. So we'll clean those up too before I use them again. I have a brand new pair, actually, I've never even used. Might break those out. Seventeen likes, come on. We can, we can at least get to twenty. It helps the algorithm. If you want to share it out, let somebody know. Hey, come on in, you get a chance to win a quarter. That'd be cool. And it's no crazy giveaway, but free silver. And you don't even have to pay for shipping. Nothing wrong with that. Furnace food. Whenever I make rounds, I usually do it in a cup to make sure that it's as close to an ounce as possible. This one's kind of cool though. I can get this crap off of it. I need to take the metal wheel to it. Kind of deep. Definitely gonna need to clean those things off. Clean the tongs up. Basically trying to keep everything, everything that you use as clean as possible, really. I might let this go as a round. I don't know. I can stamp the three nines fine right in that circle. See, it looks like this little corner cleaned off. Take the file to it.
18. I'm losing people though. Probably gonna be getting off here soon. I'm gonna be busting butt all the rest of this week till all weekend. Till next week, at least eight hours a day. Trying to get some stuff ready for the next auction. I gotta go through all my coins too, because I got a lot of uh, stuff I'm gonna probably be letting go. This isn't bad though. You guys think this is a decent round to put out? Eh, actually, I really don't like it that much. Where was it at? This right here, that's where that was popped up. A little piece came off. Can't even tell now. Come on, two more likes. We can do it. I'll do it at 20. I really want to give it away. But I'm already coming 10 lower than what I said at first. So, i got to at least get 20. I don't mind bending the rules. But I can't break them. And see how this is a little bit dirty? Like, I'll clean all that before it goes back in the furnace, too. See, that's a pretty big difference. Especially that. Yikes. I mean, it's a lot of cleanup just to melt back down. <laughs> I, don't know. I might see what I can do by Friday. If I got a good enough amount of stuff done by Thursday, we might do the auction Friday. Either this Friday or next Friday. It's going to be one of the two. See, now it's a little bit cleaner to go in the furnace. Y'all definitely don't like to watch the cleanup. Was there four people left? <laughs> Boring! You're gonna miss out. I was thinking about going downstairs and playing some drums. That's really in there. I think a piece of the crucible came off. It's like a freaking black hole. Black hole, son. Won't you come? Wash away the rain. I guess we just had a black hole sun, huh? You know, did you guys watch that? It almost seemed like, and it's weird that you don't see the other side of the moon at all. But it looked like, like the sun is almost like a hole, right? And something went behind that hole. You know, like say this is the sun, it was a hole. And then it looked like something almost went behind the hole instead of in front of the sun if that makes any sense that's what it looked like to me it's crazy like the way things look actually that picture i had it kind of even looked like that it's 
Sorry, guys. I haven't been looking at any of the uh, comments. Hit the like button. We only need two more. Let's see if I can clean this little part. Something's coming off of it. I didn't want to put it back in there unless it was cleaned up. But it's so small you can't really grind it. Okay, why do these things feel like they're moving? I always got to be careful with these because sometimes these little corners you'll have like a little bit of sand, burnt sand that is stuck to them. I'm always nervous something's going to get in there. So if you clean it, you don't have to worry about it, right? What do you guys think about this? You think I should just save this and sell it as a bar? I think it looks cool. I hit it pretty hard at one point. I hit it a couple, tapped it, and then I hit it hard one time, and it went yoink. <laughs> I don't like the back, though. But it's still good enough. Four bar. Say hi to LBS for me. Make the hole bigger on what? Serpent Silver. What were you talking about? You still probably buy what? Serpent Silver. Oh, okay. Tumble this one.
point gears. Tough one. Sometimes you can just take the Dremel to it. Makes it a little bit easier. The bottom of this all might end up looking the same because I kind of have to grind it a little bit. So you can see the lines in the first one, but I think in this one, it might all be smooth on the bottom. We'll see. I'll probably leave what I can, but... Can you get two more likes? Dang. I really wanted to give that away, guys. Take this to that sander I got. It's like a belt sander. And I can just <laughs> flatten it all up, make, make it look nice and smooth on the bottom. That's pretty cool. I think what I'm gonna do is, before I get off of here, I'm going to take the wire wheel to it and get all that darkness off and see what that looks like. I'm not even saving this silver anymore. Where are my wheels at? Let's wheel this sucker up.
tumbler will, the tumbler will get into these corners really good. I'm just trying to clean any of the darkness off of it with this. That's why I always paint these black. So I'll know which ones are the dirty ones. Even in the tumbler, I try to keep everything clean as I can. And I can take a Dremel to it and kind of clean up some of these little corners a little bit. Like at the top. Looking a little bit better. Once it runs to the tumbler, that'll look good. I think. Not bad for my first try, I guess. I think I'm gonna try to print another one that's a little bit better, though. If I'm running through the tumbler too much, then you're not gonna like see the steps. The steps are really tight. Before I put it in the tumbler, I can tighten up some of this top up here. And I think I should have did that with the, um, this piece. You see, like right there, I might have been able to take like a razor blade and cut that a little bit. So the steps didn't go all the way up. It stops like these two do. But these two go all the way up. I think it would look a little bit better like that. But that's what this is. It's all a learning process. I'm trying to get better. I'm taking you guys along on my ride of screwing up a gazillion times till I get it right. <laughs> that's what it's about. Hours collector, good night. I appreciate you hanging out. I'm probably gonna get off here too. try to break that welder out soon and make a um, big flask have a bunch of pieces all cut up and ready to go I just got to weld it but I've never welded before so it's gonna be a learning process on that too so I thought about maybe trying to tack it and then going live and seeing what happens if I screw it up oh well just uh, try <laughs> I have a Lincoln 140 that I've never used, but definitely want to try. I wish this would fit in there. I think I should cut these off.
Hit the like button. We, we only need two more likes. I was saying 30. If we got the 30, I give away this 1942 90% silver quarter. But if we can get to 20, I'll do it. I'm not going to be on much longer. Unless I just take y'all downstairs and start jamming on some drums for a while. Maybe some people will come and hit the like button. <laughs> It's not that hard. Yeah, that's what my dad was saying. You just got to get in there and do it. All you're trying to do is like, as you're doing it, go in like small little circles. I think that's what he was saying. And I guess tacking it, obviously you just tack it, but. The thing is, it's on a spool. And I know you got to have the timing of the spool matched up with the other part. I don't even know what it is. I haven't looked at that thing in so long. It's got a door on the side. You lift the door up and then it tells you. I guess what you need to know. It's just new for me. I know I'll be good at it once I learn it. Because I'm always good at that kind of stuff. But And I love tools. I'm good with... Uh, I used to sell tools, actually. I got a lot of DeWalt tools for free. Because I would sell their stuff. They asked me one time. I had, I had like... Um, I think it was like a $1,500 credit. Or no, $1,600. And they said, oh no, it was $800. And they told me that I could get $800 in gift cards, where if I got tools, they would double it. So I got $1,600 in free tools because they owed me $800. I made out like a bandit. I got the 60 volt chainsaw. I got one of those lights that's actually what we're looking at now one of these uh lights right here it's a 20 volt but you can put 60 volts in it love that thing and then i got like a half inch impact and a bunch of other stuff i should call those guys i bet you i could get them to give me a free tool if i like demoed it on here i got 1500 followers that might be enough Having four people in a live stream, though, is probably not good. <laughs> Come on, we only need one more. One more like. Let's do it. We can do it. Right, I'm going to clean up a little bit, and hopefully by the time that happens, right, I'm done. We'll have everybody. And thanks again to Serpent Silver for giving me my first uh, token here. Not token, you know what I mean. Poker chip. Very cool. Even got a sticker. I'm going to be doing some mail calls soon. I don't know if maybe this Friday, if I don't end up doing a live stream, maybe I'll have a live stream to um, open up some of that old mail and then just give stuff away in the live stream. And if anybody wants to donate for like shipping, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to really ask you to either, but I know people like to, to do stuff like that. So if anybody does want to, I will uh, not say no. This will be up for auction. Again, <laughs> it's actually cleaned up now. I think it looks way better now than it did before. Pretty cool piece. And this too, this will probably be up for auction. Almost three ounces. Silver's up pretty good right now too. Is it still up? Is it still? It was close to 29. Is it 29 yet? Crap, wait a minute. I didn't look at it today. Uh oh, down to two. I was gonna melt that down. Those are thirties in here because I don't think any of those are gonna be good. I think I'm gonna melt them. He 
did in high school. I wish I had taken a welding class in high school. I went to Votech, but I was in computer aided drafting, which was really dumb because it was a really hard class. My memory sucks. There's so much to remember. I barely got through that. It almost looks antique now. There's really not that much of a difference. Kind of looks antique, doesn't it? And I probably will antique it. That way in the corners, well, maybe not. I think it looks pretty good the way it is though. Twenty-eight forty. Dang, it definitely went down because I think it was like just about to hit twenty-nine, or it did hit twenty-nine and some change maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. <clears throat> There's four people here. If anybody didn't hit the like button, hit the like button. I'm going to do a giveaway for a silver quarter if I get to 20 likes. It was 30, but I changed it. So if you just popped in, I'm about to get off of here. Anyway. Actually, I need to get something right one. I'll be right back. All right. Hit the like. There's only two of us here, or three of us. <laughs> oh, why is this wet? What the hell? This, this is for the saw, the little hand saw, and you put a little bit of this blade butter on it. It's supposed to make it last longer, but it's always wet underneath. I guess there's like a small crack. I don't see a crack, but it seems like it's always leaking a little bit. Weird. All right, there's six people here. Somebody didn't hit the like button. Hit the like button. We're going to do a giveaway. I need 20 likes. Ah, oh, they left. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Might go downstairs and do the giveaway. Six people. Somebody's in here. 
that just came in. Hit the like button for me. 20 likes, we're gonna give away a silver quarter. 1942D silver quarter and a couple stickers. It's an older one, but 20 likes. Come on, we can do it. There's some new people in here. Unless it's the same people coming back. You got the stickers. There we go. There we go. 20 likes. That's good. I don't usually get 20 likes on a day like today. So appreciate you guys. We got nine people in here. I guess you got pretty decent odds. So we're going to give away William Barlow. Hello. Bill Snodgrass, what's going on? We're gonna we're gonna give this away. You're just in time. Ninety percent silver. We got ten people in here. Hit the like button for me if you haven't already. I was trying to get the thirty likes, but we'll do it anyway. We got nineteen forty-two. Gonna give us away. It's a little worn, but it's free. Closest without going over. One through a hundred. That is the answer. Closest without going over. Serpent, pick another one. Joseph Beecher. Five of us in here, or five of you in there. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll let it be up for y'all. I'm not going to wait for more people. Good enough. Fifty-five. And if you know, you know. I'm probably going to pick that number pretty often, but it's not going to be every day. But five is my lucky number. So just so you guys are on the end, it's not going to be all the time, but every now and again, I'll probably pick five and 55. <clears throat> and what do we have? So Carol Clark, congrats. Only one off. Very nice. But yeah, it won't be every time. I'll never do it twice and like when I did the auction I gave away like six quarters and half dollars and things like that um, but that's what I do during the auctions is at the top of every hour so usually but you'll never know when I'm gonna do it but usually I'll pick 55 at one point so you're gonna have to be quick with the 55 but then again if I don't pick it who knows <laughs> I don't know But yeah, email me your address, Carol, so I can send this out to you. So I might even give you the bigger sticker. I'm running low on those, though. That's why I've been giving these little ones out with the giveaways. Um, I, I have, um, do you like, you, you like the holographic stickers? Because I do have this in a holographic. I got both of them in holographic, but I try to give everybody, whenever I sell a pour or anything else i try to give at least one sticker um probably should get some more magnets made up too i actually have that in a magnet too i'll send you a magnet as well you put a magnet on your fridge when you're gun safe
<laughs> I tell you, I will pick 55 at my next auction. At least at one point, I will pick 55. I'm not going to tell you when. But sometime in that night, I will pick 55. Just a little inside info for my people that are here that always show up. I appreciate you guys. I don't tell nobody. <laughs> You got your, that, what'd you get the, um, you got a V-nickel. That's the first time I've ever given away a V-nickel, too. But you had a V-nickel, a Buffalo nickel, and a silver quarter, right? And I think you won, was it another quarter or a half dollar or something? That was pretty awesome. You won twice. That was the second auction. Nice. Yeah, I like, see, I made both of these myself. And that was my first attempt. And I don't like how it has the yellow. It's like it didn't take that out. It was supposed to just be that, but I couldn't figure out how to get it <laughs> without it. So now, see how I got that? I'd like to have that down there. But then again, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and, you know, Clapper. So I almost want to have all of those on it. But this was my second design. And you can see in the background, that's like... The design, I forgot what it's called. Like the design for uh, humanity, life, all life or something. I, I don't know. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like that design. That's what my t-shirts are too. I got to get more of those made. And then I have, I have a pen that has that on it. I think I have two or three pens left. So at some point... I'm going to give away some of that stuff when I do the mail calls and open up all this mail I got that's I've been saving for two years. The whole time I was gone, I kept saving it all up. I don't know. Maybe this Friday I'll go live. I think I might open up a few things throughout the week and tell everybody to stop by on Friday. Maybe we'll go live and just do it that way. Although I kind of want to get views with opening the, the mail, but... I don't know. I think it'd be a better time for you guys if I did it in a live stream. And I, I hit 1500, so I didn't plan on doing anything at 1500. I was going to do one at 2000. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yo, buddy. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Speak. Speak. Not sneeze. Speak. 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 Ovi, speak. Ovi, speak. That guy will speak. That's my stepdaughter's dog. You're not gonna speak. They wanna go outside. Hey daughter, the dogs wanna go outside. I was gonna run downstairs. Let's go hang out downstairs for a minute. I'm gonna take y'all with me. If I can even, how are we gonna? We got enough hands. Bear with me. I think the dogs want to go outside. The dogs probably want to go outside. It's been a little while. Two of us here. I think that probably is though. So I don't know if uh
this set up looking good. Bear with me for a minute. Anybody here? Oh, we got four people hanging out. Appreciate you guys. Separate Silver sent me that today, if anybody's new. Gotta add that to the stack of coolness. Man, it looks kind of bare over here. That's my sticker collection. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And I haven't stuck any of it anywhere, so... This is for Carol. We'll stick that there. Trident. Haven't seen Trident in a while. He's been a pretty big supporter of the channel for a long time. JK, are you still here? I need one of your stickers. Got all those. That was, I think, my first card. Got my first card. <laughs> if anybody has any cards. A couple little stickers, too. These are cool. I need to make some little ones like that. Yeah, we got all Silver Ocean stickers. So I'm thinking about this board behind me. Well, behind, well, in front of me. That, oh, that's one of my old stickers. This is one of the, another design I made of the Capitol. And then all that crap went down with the Capitol. And so I didn't want to put it out. I got a plumber. Uh, I didn't even know I had that. That's not even a sticker. That's a um, coaster. Pirate Stacker, my boy. I got all his original stuff. That one. Look at all these. I need to give away some pirate stuff. <laughs> I'm never going to stick all these anywhere. Dang. I've won from him quite a few times. I've bought some stuff from him quite a few times. So I got doubles and triples and quadruples of some of his stuff. Stacking Silverman. Anybody know? Are they still around? Him and his wife were doing some stuff for a while. Silver Viking. That was my first poured silver I ever bought was from Silver Vikings. Will's Treasure. He pours. I wonder if I start saying everybody's name if uh, people will start popping in. Because when somebody mentions my name, it'll tell me somebody mentioned you in a video. Silver Heist. I, you know what's funny is I was doing these in blue, and then I realized that he was doing this. And I was like, crap, <laughs> I had to change. That's when I ended up designing my own stickers because I needed to try to figure out how to uh, not be copying somebody. But yeah, look, this guy right here, I won some dirt from him. Check this out. I still got to do it, but I got some pay dirt here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to ship to the UK. That's for sure. But yeah, I got it from XLR. There's some dude that hit me up one time and wanted to send me all of his stickers. Tupac, remember that? Bionic Bull 88. Savage Stacker. Oh, more of these little stickers from uh, Trident. See, I'm thinking about just trying to set all these up. Guam Stacker, you guys remember him? Because I got this board here. So I'll show you. This is the setup. So I had these pieces of wood that I found somewhere. And so that's like a, a board that really, it bends like right here and right there. So you could set it up if you were doing like a project or something. 
and then I put the wood on both sides and then attached them together so that they'll stay up. And then uh got my daughter's desk. So yeah, that's um I got the keychain, the button. I had some pens made. I got a couple mugs. I might even do a mug giveaway at some point because I have two of them and I only use that one on my uh desk just to have there. I wanted to show you guys something that I was talking to somebody about this. Look at that. My grandfather made this. He used to wear this at powwows. And I'm pretty sure he made it himself. He was a, a metal smith. He used to make quite a few things out of metal. But isn't that cool? I don't know what this is. Obviously, it's a bunch of things that he put together. And it's in this little clasp kind of thing. But you can feel it's all, they're cut. It's all different pieces. And then this right here, I guess, I don't know if that's a bear claw or an eagle talon. I'm not sure what that is, but he used to wear this at powwows. Isn't that cool? It actually kind of fits me. It's making me nervous. <laughs> but yeah, that's a piece that will always stay with me and will be passed down for sure. But yeah, we got a plumber. I got to put some of these up. I got a bunch of his stuff. Sean 47. That was, I bought some of his uh, channel rounds too back in the day. Mad Stacker. That was probably one of my first stickers. Hanging out in the Ma Madhouse crew. Yoshi Bullion. You guys remember Cheshire Keith? And Heads or Tails? I think he changed his name to something else now. Todd Miller. This dude is cool. When I got that pay dirt I was showing you. He sent me this because I didn't have one. So he sent me a pan. Shout out to Todd Miller. Good dude. I offered to pay for it and he didn't want me to pay for it. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing some prepping videos. And this was going to be one of them. If you guys aren't prepping, you should be. This is a Faraday bag. So if there was any kind of EMP or a solar flare or something that would take out the system, this bag protects anything electronic. And I was telling you that I got a couple pieces earlier if you in this in the live stream i was talking about how i got some chargers and wow it's on but uh so you, you plug it into the wall and it'll charge or it'll charge by the sun this is a must-have i mean it's gonna suck if something happens and your phone goes down because uh, i don't keep my phone in one like i probably should but i do have a, a spare phone that i keep in one and flashlights and things like that so i'm gonna make a video showing this stuff i got a bunch of different size bags i've got the material to do a box and it's called a faraday bag faraday box um you can make them yourself but these bags were made for that i was talking about the don't tread on me earlier serpent if you're still here this is one of the don't tread on me that's the sign i was talking about Behind the CC, there's a, um, I love the don't tread on me stuff. Got that. I painted this myself. You guys like that? That was the first time I did the backward C on anything. But yeah, I want to do some uh, giveaways where, oh, no, I don't even see him. I done hit them for myself. I had some stickers. Oh, here they are. I got a couple Don't Tread On Me stickers. I might uh, give those away at some point. Got the black one and the yellow one. And then one with the Maryland on it. Awesome. And so I'm also thinking about doing some things where when I sell a pour. What do you guys think about this? If, if I sell a pour and you buy one, I rip this ticket off. I keep one. I give you one. And then after I get a certain amount of pour sold, I'm going to do a giveaway for another pour. And I'll pick from from my side, I'll pick a number, and then you check your side to know if you won. This is something I'd planned on doing from the get-go and kind of forgot about it. But I think I might try to do that at some point. As you can see, man, I got tons of mail. All this mail I got to open up. So I don't know if I'm going to do some kind of live stream soon. 
the box I've already got to that but all this stuff down here was for the the first part of it and then I got to unbox all this stuff some of this stuff I still got to show you guys my first coin show and everything else so I'm trying to get to that stuff oh and prepping we're gonna um we're gonna taste test some of this food and I'm gonna let my daughter taste it and my mother probably and my better half so you'll have three generations of a taste test and see what they think about it they might not want to talk on camera but you know oh here's another thing i never showed you guys look check this out i had this jersey made 47 is for uh silver and i'm a big fan of the orioles not a big fan but you know my sticker kind of matches that anyway so i had this jersey made i think this only cost like 65 bucks Capital currency, 47 for silver. I thought about doing 79 for gold. If I get another one made, it'll probably have 79 for gold. The only thing I wish I'd done differently is put this on that side too. It would have looked cool on both both sides. But uh, man, that thing fits amazing. And right here, it has Velcro. That way, your letters never look screwed up. But yeah, man, I got a solar powered generator. I've got another solar powered thing where you have this. It's in this box. It's about this big. Actually, it might it might be a two piece. I think it opens up. No, it's one piece. So I have a, a little box that this hooks up to. And it's like that little box I just showed you. So you put that in the sun or put this in the sun and then it'll charge that little box and you can you can charge up a couple phones. I think you could run, I don't know exactly what you can run, but you can run some stuff. And so I've been also working on some, some things uh, like channel stuff. I need to do the other C, but I was thinking about doing some things like that um, to have in the background, maybe do a giveaway. And then I, I made these, I've done this before. This is a coaster that I paint. Instead of having a coaster made like I showed you, uh, pirates or not pirates. Um, who was it? Dang, where'd it go? I lost it already. Plumber. So that's what people have made a lot of time for coasters. But I was like, man, I'm going to make my own coaster. So I ended up doing that. And this is just me drawing on it, but I want to um, paint it that color of what I just showed you. Silver and gold. So I don't know, but what do you what do you think? I almost like this better. This is the first time I attempted to do this. And those really should be a little bit closer together where they're almost touching. So I'm not sure I'm a fan of this one either. But I kind of like this. What do you guys think? Yes, yeah, Serpent, that is a lot of mail. <laughs> I'm kind of ridiculous with the mail. But I was gone for two years, and I kept planning on coming back, planning on coming back, and just never really got there. Another thing that's pretty cool, you guys, obviously, a lot of you like coins. Check that out. This is a um, picture. 826 points. He's, I think he's over 1,000 points now. But number nine of 826. Number nine. But I love coins, especially when it has the capitals in it. And I think it's the same coin, just that's the back of it. I'm not sure. But, uh, isn't that cool? I was going to make a video out of that. Coins and pictures. Because I have this one, too. Isn't that cool? I think stuff like this is awesome. I have one that I got for my birthday, too. My daughter got for me. It's, a, it's just a coin. <clears throat> but, yeah, we got to get this 3D printer going. Another thing is I have all those hockey cards right there. I need to open all those up at some point. I got some Walking Dead cards. Check that out. That's coins too. The HM, that's actually coins. But uh, but yeah, we're going to make some 3D printing videos. There's just so much stuff to get into. I've got a lot of uh, catching up to do for sure. But yeah, if you guys are into the prepping stuff, it should be a lot of fun. And uh, by the next auction, too, that's why I was thinking about putting it off a week. Because I want to make more. I want to make the number ones of the Statue of Liberty. I sold the, uh, and that was in the first auction. I sold the prototypes. So, 
I think I want to make the number ones of that. And those take forever, man. That's a hard one to do. And to be honest, what I sold them for, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be able to do that for the number ones. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I should probably be getting off here, huh? I just love hanging out with you guys. Wish there was more people, though. Everybody keeps leaving me. I'm not cool enough. I'm not in the cool crowd, man. I was thinking about making a copy of that, but it's silver, and I don't want to mess it up. But this is for furnace food anyway. So, and you can tell it's got some milk spots on it. So I'm really thinking about making a copy of this. Not the back. Leaving the back, you know, open. Like putting it, putting it down in sand and then just pouring it. Probably like a two ounce. That way the whole thing, I make sure it fills out. So instead of a one ounce Indian, it'll be a two ounce. And then I got a copper, one of these, the Buffalo. And I was going to definitely make a copy of that. And they'll probably end up being like two ounces. So I'll stick it down in the sand enough to where when I'm pouring it for the whole thing to make sure that the whole thing gets filled out, it'll be uh, probably a two ounce. I thought about even doing it with the Aztec, but I never got a copper Aztec. That's a half ounce. But yeah, this I got it for a trade. And actually, it was a trade for this. I did this in silver. So he traded me two and a half ounces for it. So that was cool because it's only 1.3 ounces or something. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I uh, I think I'm going to at some point do the, the sticker thing. So I'm going to go through my stickers and the people that don't really come around or hang out at the channel, I'm probably not going to put up. But the people that are hanging out with me and, and uh, you know, those are going to be on the bottom and then I'll go up from there. Maybe even fill the wall up at some point, but I'm not going to stick them to it. I want to tape them that way. I don't screw them up, but I got so many doubles, man. It's ridiculous. I could probably fill up this whole bottom just with silver oceans and pirate. But, um, yeah, if you guys see anything here with the pours that you like, let me know so I know what to put into the next one. I got that crab that I did and I shined up those bars. They're about 3.7 and 3.6, I believe, something like that. Um, we got a Marshall stack there. Got an Incredible Hulk, a couple music symbols. That eagle. I might do another one if you guys are into that. I will pour another one, but that's mine. That's my first sand cast ever, my first uh, silver sand cast. So I don't know if I'll be uh, ever letting go of that one, but this is some other things that I'll probably end up putting into the next one. That Jesus, I got to try again to get right. And then Rosie the Riveter, the bottom isn't perfect, so I'm going to redo her too. So I don't know if those will get melted down. I could let them grow, go as prototypes, but I don't know. Sure, I do got some. Uh, this is my last pack of these. I have to get some more soon. And that's the, the newer one. I might even do a new design soon. I'm a sucker for the deals, man. And look, I even got deals. <laughs> these bubble mailers. I was like, sure, I'll take some. Even though I really don't even use them that much. But, um, yeah, so. Carol, I'm going to get this out to you. So, keep that separate. But, you guys like that? This was... Like my third or fourth design and that's when I first started doing the, the backwards C it says silver and gold and over here it says coins and bills I had another one that I made where it's like the capital is kind of like on fire and then all that stuff happened with the capital January 6th and I was like man maybe I shouldn't put this out <laughs> so I never did make that a sticker but uh I kind of do want to put that out at some point. It is pretty cool. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I only had 60 of these made. <clears throat> I can hear a dog growling. Like that might be a cat. Is that a cat or a dog? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> What do you guys think about this? <clears throat> this is something I got a while back. West Point. Isn't that cool? Looks like a Spartan helmet. I got to do that Spartan pour too at some point. I have this design. <clears throat> I have so much stuff I haven't even unboxed yet and shown you guys. Like there is some really awesome stuff in some of these packages. And there's some things that I bought that I was thinking about flipping. I'm curious what you guys think about this. Star Wars, Guards of the Empire. I paid a pretty penny for this, but this might be up for grabs at the next auction. I gotta unbox it first, but check that out. Isn't that cool? I really like this piece. It's even in the, I think there was only, yeah, 2,000. There's only 2,000 of them made. That's the back. I don't like pulling this stuff out. 2021. It's got the antique look to it. So it's in a capsule and it's also in this, but I've never taken it out. Like obviously you wouldn't have that bag in it and you can just sit it up and display it. Awesome piece. But yeah, this is, I, I have a feeling it's probably like a hundred bucks. I don't know if I could even let it go for any cheaper than that. I have it written down somewhere what I paid for it, but that's an unboxing I need to do just to be able to flip it because then that's why i bought it but then again i still have those those busts right there of the uh star wars stuff i never ended up getting anything nobody ended up picking up any of those and then what do you think about this stuff i know you guys like the the poured stuff you got that I got this. Mike, what's going on? And then, Serpent, remember I was telling you, I, I finally got one of those rounds. This was that round. What is that dirt? Oh, that's something I got on there. Boston Tea Party. I'm not a huge fan of that side, but... Anything with the don't tread on me, I love it. I'm just a broke stacker. I hear you. And then, you guys like this stuff? I love these kind of things, man. 1979. Anything Mexican, I really like. And I love the scale. And this is actually a stamp for, like, for stamping this coin. See right there, the coin would be down in here and you turn it and it tightens it up and stamps the coin for whatever design it is. Pretty cool. And these are in decent shape too, but anything 1979 I tend to buy. And this was some more from Bub's Delicious. Remember that box I opened up if anybody saw that video? This is some other stuff I got from her. But if you like pours, and you like Silver Dragons, I got one of his pours. 4.2 ounces, 2019 Skull. Check this thing out. So I'm giving you guys a kind of a preview of some of the unboxings I'm about to do, because I've never shown any of this stuff. This Skull kind of looks like one of the Skulls I'm about to do. Not quite, but it's pretty close. Look at the ripples on that. 
See, this was uh, this was a graphite mold he poured this in. That's what it looks like to me. But you kind of see lines. Like when you get it in the light, right? It's like a circle right here, and they get bigger. But that's probably how they machined it, and it just showed up. You can't really see like I can see. You see those little circles, those like little lines everywhere? It almost looks like a 3D print, but he wouldn't have been able to get the ripples if it wasn't a, uh, if it was in sand. Pretty cool, though. I don't know if that'll be up for grabs at some point. I know people pay big bucks for Silver Dragon's Force. I've been in his live streams and watched things sell. I'm like, wow. I mean, like crazy amount of money. <laughs> I'd like to be that good at some point. I will be at some point. It just it might take a little while to get there. That's why I try to practice at least twice a week. But everything I got, it, that was like 320 bucks. Not cheap stuff, but I got a pretty good deal. And then cash money at one point i noticed he's been doing some stuff recently but before he was doing any of that i picked up four more of these these are the 1980s so if you guys like the mexican silver i don't need four eighty or eight uh, 1980s so i'll probably keep one and sell the other three so these might be up for grabs if anybody's into that kind of stuff the mexican silver I don't even remember what I paid for these. It's probably in an email though. I don't think you can find stuff like this for under like 40 to $45 an ounce. Oh, and remember this guy, Silver Soldier of Fortune, ended up screwing a bunch of people over in the community. Apparently he was ripping people off and I didn't even know. But yeah, this guy right here was ripping people off, apparently. He was doing a bunch of giveaways, and man, I, I really liked what he was doing. And then all of a sudden. But this was my first ever, and I haven't even got any since, my first piece of platinum. And platinum fell off the cliff ever since then, but... Yeah, I never did unbox that either. And this right here, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a story about this because, wait, that's not the right one. I thought I opened that already. Where is it? Yeah, these dudes right here, man, they kind of, they screwed me over, man. And, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but when you say you're going to give me something and don't do it. I don't really want to call people out, but, but yeah, this was a merchant metal pickup and I had paid for a patch, never got the patch. I emailed the guys and they were like, oh, we ran out. And I was like, okay, you know, I was cool. Like whatever they ran out. And he's like, well, we don't have any more. And I was like, whatever, it's cool. I just, you know, if you don't have it, whatever, no, no big deal. Right. And left it alone. Well, me personally, just so you guys know, I would never let that just be. Granted, it was only like seven bucks or eight bucks or something like that. But I would never have you pay for something and me not at least send you something, right? So I never got a patch, never got nothing else ever, but I got some really cool things. Um, remember the, the Besker bars? Look at these little suckers. Is that Besker bars? So small, I can't even tell. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Little one gram Besker bars. And it's in... Um, uh, I keep thinking flips. You know what I mean. So yeah, those were cool. And then this, check this bad boy out. Wait, where is the... Anything with a ship on it, I am into. The high relief on this is amazing. Look at that. Skulls and ships. You just can't go wrong. This is a two ounce. 
Look how thick it is. Love this piece. And then I got this right here. Is that 2016? So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a video unboxing these at some point. Damn, that's even got a little bit of a milk spot right there. Huh, didn't even know that. I don't think I even noticed that though, so that might have been something that happened within the last two years of it sitting in the bag. And then look at this beauty. 2021. I think these are going for big bucks. I think 2021, these were like double what a one ounce was. I love the way that these flip the same way that uh, American coins do. Pretty cool. Yeah, those Besker bars are pretty cool. I like them. You love Star Wars? You're just a broke stacker. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, a lot of Star Wars stuff is expensive, man. Especially for one bar being like 100 bucks. It was at least 70 I think, last time I looked them up. And then I got a 2016. I do love these flips. Dang, that one's got some milkage going on, too. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know about those guys, man. The fact that I'm getting milked up stuff now, and he didn't send me my patch. And the thing is, the dude said, I know that the dude had, like, another patch. And uh, it wasn't, obviously, the one I paid for, but anything would have worked. Just send me something. Or at least tell me that you don't have it. Don't just not send something, not mention anything until I tell you. And then, you know, granted, I said, whatever, it's all good. But, man, me personally, if you guys ever buy something from me, I will never leave it at that. I will never be like, oh, I just, I ran out. I'm either going to reimburse you that money or I'm going to send you something. Just so you guys know. And when I make the video unboxing it, I'm not going to mention that stuff because I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but that is the story. That is what happened. This is the behind the scenes, right? <laughs> I like hanging out with you guys and, and telling you all things I might not necessarily tell you in, in a video. But yeah, it's two guys that were, uh, that started a business and they're no longer in business, but, uh, one of them still does auctions and, you know, so I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but. And then on TikTok, check this out. I won Saca Plata. This was from TikTok. When he first started, he wanted everybody to guess how many half dollars were in a um, a jar or in something. I don't, I don't even know. And I was the closest without going over. And so I won a half dollar. 1954. I need to make this a TikTok video. I've been slacking on TikTok, man. I, I haven't posted much over there. I need to get back to um, Instagram, too, because I'm trying to... I have pictures of every pour that I've sold, and I'm putting them up on Instagram as sold, but just so people know what I'm doing. And then um, I'm going to make a website at some point, too, that's going to have all that. Every pour that I've ever done, it's going to have a... Uh, you know, a website with all of it. It'll be the front and the back and the COA of the weight and everything like that. But yeah, uh, here's another one. This dude called himself a coin guru. He sold me this for 50 bucks. I couldn't really see it. I just figured, hey, it's in a nice thing. I wanted to, he does stuff for the community. I wanted to uh, support him. And I was like, sure. He said, this is a beautiful piece. It's a, it's a BU beautiful piece. You guys tell me, do you think that that's BU? Look at all the hair missing right there. The cheek. I mean, if I could show you this like up close, you'd be like, what? That is not BU. Maybe AU. But it's also cleaned, and I wasn't told it was cleaned. I got this in. I was pissed. 50 bucks for a clean coin. See, look, uncirculated. No, this is not uncirculated. It's AU50 at best. You can't even see, I mean, you can see a little bit of lines there, but you can't make out those feathers in the breast. It'd be cool if maybe there was some kind of like van on it or something. <laughs> That's the only way it'd be worth it to me. And I don't see anything on this one. But yeah, I got this in and I was like, dude, are you kidding me? 
first of all, it's it's AU, if that, and it was cleaned. Like, you always tell somebody, if I know a, a, a coin is clean, I'm going to let you guys know. I think it's cleaned. And obviously, in that first auction, I sold one that was, you know, it said details, you know, so you knew that that's what it was. But then I had another one that I personally wrote cleaned on it. It was in one of these, one of these holders. And uh, I wrote the date and cleaned on it. And I'm not sure if it was clean, but I still wanted to, uh, you know, let people know. If I think it's clean, I'm going to let you know. But this is, this is a round that I made and I hammered it out. What do you guys think about that? It's like really flat on this side. And it has a little bit more of like a hammered look on this side, but it's really hard to see. But I was thinking about maybe getting, and the edges are hammered. I was thinking about getting uh, my buddy to engrave it with like a channel kind of thing. But I'm not sure yet. Obviously, it's not going to have that. Um, but yeah, I might get new ones. I got a bunch of these, but they were already used in decent shape. But I want brand new ones. And then that might be a piece at some point. It'll be some kind of, uh, I was thinking about doing the C's in the middle and then capital currency and on the back having like three nines fine, one, two, three, four, like one through 10. I think that'll be a cool piece too. But yeah. Here's one I got at a gun show. Pretty cool turning on it. And some purple and blues. The lighting in here isn't the greatest for this, but. You got that at a gun show. Which is also cool because somebody had these. And I got this from a gun show too. And that's what I made. A copy of it. But yeah, I'm going to do, at some point, I'm going to do the giveaway. And uh, all this stuff here is things I'd planned on giving away. So we got a red book. We got a pocket pinger. I got to give that away. The three-headed dragon for plumber. He gave that to me to give away to you guys. I got some fakes here with the stack stick so that you guys can have a fake to test and know the difference. And then this is a copy. This isn't even really silver. It's just something I picked up a couple of to, to be able to give away. And then right there, I have another uh, um, Aztec. I'm not sure if that I'm going to uh, give away or melt down, though. I might melt it down and then give it away, because I want to make a video of melting at least one of those. Oh, here's the Don't Tread On Me. I wasn't going to give this away, though. This was uh, something I picked up for myself. It's not silver. But it tells the story. I was going to make a video about this. This was the first one, I believe, before they changed it to this one. And I wanted to read all this in a video because it's really interesting. And then I got a digital microscope. This is supposed to be a, um, a good luck coin, which is pretty cool. But those two, I, I wasn't planning on giving away. And then these, I got some gold, some gold playing cards. Looks like a $100 bill. And I put my sticker on it. I thought about throwing that into a giveaway too. Although, something like that, it's going to be kind of expensive. It's probably like five bucks to ship it, depending on where it's going. And it's really not that great of a thing. So, I don't know. I might have to add something to it. I don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I got I to gotta do something at some point to get this mail opened up. I still got all the unboxings. I'm kind of transitioning more into pouring and, and trying to make more videos about that kind of stuff but obviously i'm a stacker i'm a collector and i love all that stuff too um, i want to start getting into prepping a lot more and um, i've got tons of preps to show you guys i might start making videos about tools because i got tons of tools and i was in the industry for 21 years actually over 21 years so i know a lot about that kind of stuff and screws and fasteners and what does what and you know, I think I could make some pretty cool videos about that stuff. And then my buddy wants to do a trade for uh, these wild pig pours. He was going to give me, I think he said like three ounces for this one ounce. Plus five 
or was it? I could have swore he said three ounces plus five rosy dimes and a one gram silver bar. <laughs> I was like, man, I can't say no to that. And then he wanted this too. This is another, this is one that I poured back in the day. So I think these I'm going to be trading. And then here's something that I toned myself. I wanted to see if I could get any toning. And I just, I left it sitting out for two years. And you can see that block right there. It was sitting on a block of copper. And that's it. I never did anything to it. I didn't put it in with eggs or anything like that. Because you can tone with eggs. But look at the, uh, the blue right there. Isn't that cool? I wish it was all the way around. But... But yeah, this might be one of those ones that after it tones for a while, has some really cool lookage to it. Cool lookage. I don't I really don't think that that's a word, but you know. <laughs> Sounds cool. You're going to try toning on copper now? Yeah, this is the other side. Um, but yeah. Plumber was doing that. He told me about that. What it was, was a bar. I melted it down. But this is, this is the same thing. The one I melted to make that big one, uh, one pound bar. This is a one pound bar too. Um, but I had practiced stamping on the back of that. So I melted it down. And then I have this one if I want to do another one. But yeah, so this is what I did. And to be honest, I think I would do it a little bit differently this time. I had it sitting like that. And just... I had it sitting right on top, just like that. That's what I did. And just left it there for like a year and a half. And so, you know, this toned a natural color. And then this toned, I guess because it was next to the copper, a little bit of that different color there. But I was thinking it'd probably be cool if you could lift it up off of it somehow. Like if it was... Something that's a little bit bigger, right? Like that big bar that I have upstairs that I made. If you could have this like kind of like hovering over it a little bit, like there has to be like a little bit of a gap because you could see where it was touching, it didn't really do much. It actually made it look kind of crappy. It's like a haze look to it. It doesn't even look, it just looks hazed. This isn't really doing it justice. You got to look at it from the side maybe. It's just hazy. It doesn't even look shiny anymore. So if it's touching it, that's what it's going to look like. But if it's not touching it, so I was thinking, man, just maybe even like a, like a piece of paper, not even paper, something a little bit thicker than that. Um, man, like my COA or something, like cut a little piece of that, something that's thick, but not like thin, like paper, a little bit thicker than paper. Um. And just, you know, having it just right on the edge here and just letting it sit right above it like that. I think that would tone it pretty awesome. And then you might get some cool colors out of that. But yeah, my buddy Stacking Points, man, he got in contact with me the other day. said he's got a bunch. He showed me a picture, too. He has got tons and tons of these copper bars that he wants to let go of. And I was like, man, if I had the money, because it's like over 100 bucks for all of it. I'd like to, to get that from him and do some more copper pours. This is one of the ones he did. This is one of my first channel things I ever had done. I'll be giving this away too. I had him put his initials on it too. And you can see like they're a little bit wonky. It's thicker at this side because it was a little bit on an angle when he did it. That's another one. See, I wish that copper bar I did had the C that close. That would have looked way better. But yeah. If you don't know, CU is copper. AG is silver. I don't even know what gold is. I don't even remember. Yeah, if you took some copper, that's a good idea. How about something like this? This is another thing. Oh, I was going to make a video about this stuff, and I never got around to it. So why don't I show you now? This will be kind of cool. I was in Ocean City, Maryland, and uh, went to a cigar shop. 
And the dude had, I was asking him if they had any, actually, it was a cigar. It was one cigar left. And I was like, hey, do you think I could get the box with it? I can give you a couple extra bucks. And he points over to this, right by the door. I just walked past it, too. And he's, uh, he points over and he says, man, you can have any of them. I think it was like $6 each. So I got this one. Actually, I think it was like $3 each. I don't even think it was that much. But this is perfect. If you have those, you know the America, the beautiful, I think they're called the five ounce pieces. The, the, it's like a quarter. They fit in here. Pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap, obviously, but they fit in there really good. And then I have this one. Actually, no, this is the one that they fit in good because I had this, this bar right here. So if I put this bar to one side, they actually sit in here perfectly. I don't have that many. I only have like six of them, but this was a really cool piece for that. And I just love the way everything seals. And then this one, I got this. Am I all the way maxed out? No. Got this one. And I love the way that they're made because they're all pretty much waterproof. I mean, it couldn't fall in water, but if it, if it got rained on, it will probably be okay. Because it has this little lip on it. But if you take a bunch of copper, bars, rounds, whatever, um, just any kind of copper probably, and put it in here, and then put some kind of round above it, and then close the box, I bet you that would tone things pretty nice. That's why I brought that out. Here's This was another one. Yeah, I think he charged me like $3. And I love the way that it's got like that dovetail. I think that's what that's called. The way they make everything. It's got a cool design to look at. This I was going to make a video because those other videos I did of how I store my silver did really good. And I had like 7,000 views on one, I think. And 5,000 on another. And I was like, man, I need to make some more of those. So this was supposed to be the next video in the process of other ways to store your silver, right? If you, you know, because you can put your stuff in here and then put this in a safe, you know? But check this one out. If you ever get a chance to get these, I was going to rip that out. And then I realized that if you have those quarter rounds, it fits in here perfect. Actually, I have a couple. Look at this. It fits perfect. And then you can do two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can have 20 rolls of silver quarters in this thing. This is an awesome way to store silver, in my opinion. But yeah, I need to make that video. I was going to make it, but I never did. But I was going to rip that out. I'm glad I didn't rip it out. I mean, and you can put dimes in it, too. It doesn't have to be... Um, you could even do nickels. But anything bigger than a quarter, I don't think it's going to fit. I don't think you can do... Um, Half dollars. But yeah, that's uh, another video I thought about making. This I picked up at the dollar store. And you can paint it yourself. I was going to paint this for somebody. And then have this in a giveaway. Another way to put some silver. You know, it's nothing crazy. It's kind of cheaply made, though. I think that's why I never ended up doing it. But, um... Yeah, I was going to paint this and then give it away with some kind of silver or something in it. Never got that far. I just found something I didn't even know I had. I love, I love those crafts, man. I'm always trying to make some stuff. So I had this. I was going to do a little CC on this at some point. Then I got a bunch of these that I was going to make stuff out of and never did. I like a whole bag of them. But check this out. This is probably the oldest box that I have. I don't know where I got this from. But this is cool. It doesn't have that on it anymore. But I actually have to look. I think my name was in here at one point. But it's dirty. It's nasty. But this is a really cool thing to have silver in. And then have that in your safe. It's just the old jewelry box. That's definitely an antique. I've had that since I was a kid. And I'm going to be 45 this year. And then I have this one too. That one right there is really cool. I've got stickers and stuff like that. It had a little key that you could lock it, but I don't know how to work it. But that was pretty cool. Anyway, 
It's been fun hanging out, talking with you guys. Um, I guess I'm going to probably get off here. But um, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe hitting the drums for a minute. If you guys are here and want to wanna hang out and hear that. I don't know what it will sound like in a phone. But I kind of wanted to jam a little bit. Eh, we'll save that for another day. We'll do that another day. But yeah, coin stand in a copper box. That could that could be cool if you could just even get a box that's copper somehow. Do they make copper boxes? I'm trying to think of what could be a copper box. You can I know you can get copper like sheet metal type stuff. So making a box out of that would be cool and just stick your coin right in it. And then you could make the box for whatever size. But like I said, it does have to be kind of lifted off of it a little bit. But then again, if it's sitting on it on one side and the whole thing is made out of copper, that would be cool because then you're going to have um, the whole, like the sides and the top will turn and then the back might not turn like the rest. But it does get that weird look to it. You know, that haziness. And like it kind of takes away from the shine. I really wish I could, you could see what I'm talking about. I mean, you can see how it's kind of hazy. But man, I tell you, that freaking, that green. Anytime I see green or purple, red, and any kind of coin, I love it. Copper bar igloo. There you go. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I get that from uh, my buddy, if I can get that from him, he already has them. It's a bunch of five five ounce bars. And I don't know if he had like a hundred of them or something. I think there's some smaller stuff too, but he had a lot of five ounce bars, and you could definitely make some kind of uh, big old square out of it. You could even take the five ounce bars and just take the cigar box and put like some double-sided tape or something in there and just stick it to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that would work. But anyway, I'll be right back in a second. Oh. And we still got five people here. I appreciate you guys. We're going to go in the other room.
because I'm about to get off here. It's always hard to get off when I still have people hanging out though. got 23 likes that's awesome I ended up getting a good amount of likes here appreciate that so what's cool is I have my area here oh, I'm trying to charge this up a little bit So if anybody's interested, I've got a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily need. Um, oh, what do you guys think about this? If I put this up in the auction, obviously I wouldn't sell them for 300, but I picked these up when, um, and gold is way up from what it was. It's probably worth 300 now, to be honest, but I, I got this for a pretty good amount off. It was when Sears was closing, I believe. Um, I don't know if you guys are into football. We got this Ray Lewis. I went to a game, and they happened to be giving these away. Isn't that cool? They're not worth a lot, but... But I got some of these guardhouse boxes. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. I might... The, the shipping might suck, though, but I might put something like this up in the auction. And then, uh... This one is for like coins for putting flips in and it's two rows. And then I got, I've never used either one of those, which I might keep one of the black ones, but then I have three of the red ones. I got another one here that's, I could probably do without a lot of this stuff in here. Isn't really anything special, but, uh, I don't know. You guys into that stuff? I'm trying to figure out like different types of things I could put in. I have, I have some of these copper bars that are cool, that are in um, protectiveness. And then I have like little weird things that I found. Like we got a one cent here. It's got a, a die rotation. It's not much, but... Then we got the the infamous six claw. And this has a, a cud in between the E and the A too. Like things like that, like the cud, it's gonna be an error. I'd have to show it to you up close in the uh what you call it on the computer, but uh I've got some really cool pieces. I have a silver dime or a copper dime. I don't think this is it. I did write copper on here, but this isn't the one that I found. I found a dime that was copper, and I was like, what the hell? It didn't get the um, the zinc coating around it. But I don't think that's the one. You got a beautiful 1964 penny I found. Mint condition. Nineteen seventy S. I think this is just things that... 1971 S. 1972S. This is a DDO. I found that. There's a die crack on this one. DDR, a cud by the sea. I don't think that this is a DDR. I think it's just got the cud. <laughs> but if anybody's into this kind of stuff, I might put some of this stuff up in the auction. I actually can't really see, but the uh, the lighting is kind of kind of terrible. Um. I'm not sure if this is a DDR or not. I think that I, I got a little... This is when I first started looking at stuff, and I think I got a little a little too happy thinking that it's things, but maybe not quite. Like, I got to go over some of this stuff and make sure that that's even what it is. Um, so there's doubling on the reverse, but a lot of times you get machine doubling, which doesn't really make it worth a whole lot more than, you know, just what it's worth anyway. This I have error because it has this... This little rim. Can you see the rim around it? How it's like weird. 
I forgot what that's called. But I need to figure out, like, even what some of the things I have are called. That's another one, same thing. I don't know if you can see. If anybody knows, let me know what, what you call that stuff. See how it's got that, that weird ring around it that goes through In God We Trust? And it makes the In God We Trust, like, weird, too. There's a die crack on the reverse of this. Cut over the end. So a lot of stuff, die crack. I'm always looking through this kind of stuff. And I always pull it. Even if it's a DDR, if it's not even really a DDR, I, I'll write it on here and come back to it later. So some of the DDRs might not necessarily be that. I got to check through that stuff again, but... But yeah, it's just some of the things that I was thinking about, you know, trying to have something different when I do auctions. I also have a bunch of, if anybody's looking for any of these, man, I got tons of these. I would order 10, and whenever I'd get 10 from, like, Jay and Boyant, they would give them to me in this. <clears throat> I've got quite a few extras. Look at this bad boy. You know how much this is worth? In this condition, thousands, thousands and thousands. But you can see it says copy right there. And I knew what it was when I bought it. I knew it was a fake, but I, I'd picked up a few things when I first started stacking and collecting purposefully. I think I got this off of um, Etsy. Is it Etsy or, or what's that other one? even that came out before Etsy. I bought it off of there for like two bucks. But obviously, this is a thousand. It's it's in the thousands. So it may be even a hundred thousand if it's in great condition. So I knew what I was getting, but I wanted to have it because I try to have a little bit of everything when it comes to whatever it is that I'm getting into. I want to know what the fakes look like. I want to know what... it's It's a way for me to study. And like this right here, this is another one. Obviously, first of all, it, it's not a, I've dropped that. It's not a proof. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not supposed to flip like this. Any American coin, it's supposed to flip this way. So that's a, a telltale sign right there. And then also, I want to tell you guys about this. I was going to make a video about this at some point. This right here, don't ever buy these as silver. German silver is not silver. See right here, it says German silver. This is not silver at all. And they make it look like German mint. They make it look like it's all nice. It's even in a capsule. But this is not silver. And then more of the fakes I bought. I think I bought like five or six of them or 10 of them or something. And I was giving them away to people. Whenever I would do my giveaways, I would give away one of these fakes so that you had something to look at, to know what a fake is. And because they don't even flip the right way, it's obvious that they're fakes. But if I can help somebody to learn about something like that, I definitely want to try to put it out there. Check this out. This is something I did for my daughter. She was, uh, she's a, she's going to be a teenager this year, so I don't even think we did anything this year for the, um, the Easter egg hunt, but we would always do like a little Easter egg hunt around the house, and I would always give her at least one silver quarter. Try to give her like the best one I could find too. So that was the thing. This is a great idea is to do stuff with your kids like that. This right here. Look, that was her tooth. I had to get... I don't think that that's silver. I don't know what they used. They used to use silver, but I don't think that's what it is. Um, but when this fell out, and there's another one. There was two of them that she had capped. And so I gave her a half ounce round, along with money, cash too. But whenever she would lose her teeth, I would give her a half ounce of silver. And we got the Easter egg hunt. This is like my daughter's collection of things that I gave to her. I don't remember what that was for. 
Oh, this was um, something that she found. She found this when we were, we went um, metal detecting. And this is what she found. Granted, it was a brand new quarter for that year, but it was in 2021 when we, when we uh, went metal detecting on the beach. And uh, I found a quarter and she found a quarter. Pretty cool though, yeah. I got some, uh, I also have wheat scents. I mean, I might throw this up in the auction at some point. I've got a bunch of quarters I need to go through. I got a bunch of, uh, I don't know if anybody's into like this kind of stuff. This is Mexican. This is Canadian. And then this is kind of a little bit of this, a little bit of that, France. There's all kinds of stuff. I'm not really into collecting that stuff, so. That might be something I let go at some point too. Some more there. I might do like a package deal, something like this, like start it for a dollar or something. I don't know. I mean, shoot, here's 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 something right here that I found. That's not American. That's supposed to be a quarter. <laughs> found that in a quarter roll. That was some stuff I think my grandmother had when she passed away. I got her quarters. And I think that was in one of them. But anyway. Yeah, I got, I got about 10 magnets. And then I got this pack. And then I got to get some more. So, Carol, if you're still here, I will send you a uh, a magnet to go with that. I even had window clings made at some time, at some point. So this, you stick it on your window. And it shines through. So you would stick it on the inside of your window and you'll be able to read it the right way, like this. And that's the keychain I got. Yeah, I haven't given away a whole lot of these, but I do have the shinies too. I'm gonna have to start giving those away with my pores at some point because I'm running out of, uh, I only have one left over here. I don't know if you guys remember. That was my first magnet. I only have, I think, two of these left. Actually, yeah, two. So it's smaller than... Oh, no, I got a couple there, too. But see, that's the difference in size. PCGS stickers. I don't even know where they came from. See, I was talking to somebody earlier about about guitars, and I think they left. But I want to show you guys. Check this out, man. We're in my studio right now. This Martin. Look at this. It's a hollow body. I think it's from 1963, if I'm not mistaken. That's like a really expensive guitar. And in this one, this is a Yamaha. I think this was, um, actually, I think that's from the 50s and this is from the 60s. Old Yamaha guitar. I like playing this sometimes. And that was the banjo that, it's my mother's, but it was my grandfather's. And this is my bass. Sometimes I play bass, but I'm not very good at it, but I'll jam it out every now and again. Kind of messing around. Got the DJ set up. This is all the stuff that I'm still thinking about letting go of. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff here to, uh, to let go of. Like, things like that, like that, that Pope piece right there, I mean... I don't think anybody's ever going to want that. Um, I might do a giveaway with it. I don't know. This, I have I have another one in the package, so I'll probably give that away at some point. We got some copper rounds. Got this thing. I don't even know what that is. But I got some Morgans, and I've got some half dollars. I've got the half ounce Incuse Indians. I don't want to melt those, so I'll probably try to sell those at some point. And then a couple two-ouncers. That's a two-ounce right there. 
And then that's a two ounce year of the dog. And uh, we got the um, Geiger. Got a toner here. I got this from a uh, plumber back in the day. This has got some purple to it. Still need to get rid of that. I can't believe nobody tried to, to bid on that. I was putting it up for 150 and the only one I could find is going for 300 I do have one piece dollar left, so we might, uh, we might do something with that. But anyway. Oh, thanks, Carol. I just got your email about the uh, address. I will definitely send it out to you soon. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but it'll probably be within the next day or two. Oh, and I got a couple of these eagles. The 2021 eagles. And I've got to go through some of that other stuff. I do have more um, proofs. And I, I forgot about this. Remember I was telling you about this lollipop I found? I'm going to have to try to make a copy of this. I don't like how the back looks. So I meant to go and look and see if I could find another one. And it has this little spot right there too. It's kind of weird. And it's like a little bit of a bump right there. So I don't know about this one. But I could stick it down in the sand and not make it so thick. And I could probably pour that in open sand. Gadita, what's 72? What does that mean? This thing. So you guys like my drum set? It's a Tama a Superstar. Now I do have these reversed because a lot of times I like to just kind of hit those and I love the base of that and having it all the way over here kind of sucks. But when you play them in a way where you go through it like that, it's like you kind of get the low end and then it comes back to a high, which I, I don't know. It's weird. And then sometimes if I'm trying to do it, I'll, I'll skip this one and come back, but it's a pain. But uh, yeah, man, I got some uh, A Custom, Zildjian A Customs, which are amazing. The hi-hats are great. The ride was a 22 inch. I ended up selling it and, and sticking with this cheaper ZBT because it just, I don't know, kind of sounded better. And then these uh, ZBT, this is the same thing, a 16 inch crash, thin, and another thin 16 inch crash, but they sound totally different. I don't know how great you can see that. Am I zoomed? And then this A Custom right here, this was a 17 inch and I had a 19 inch too. And I ended up selling the 19 inch. I ended up selling the 21 inch and uh, you know, it was like a $1,500 set and I kept this, but um, yeah, I ended up, so this, this right here, this stays closed all the time. And that's just the ZBT, you know, nothing expensive. That stays closed, and this one I can lift. So if I'm playing like a double bass, I can uh, I can tap this hi hat without having to worry about having you know the pedal down. They do sound totally different, but yeah, and I always wear those. It sounds. I'm telling you, when you listen to drums when you're playing, and it's and you have those in your ears, it sounds so much better. I wish when I when I recorded them, they sounded as good as they sound with headphones on, not headphones with, um, you know, those are for shooting guns. <laughs> it's like a ear muff kind of thing, like a sound blocker. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to get these to sound good. I mean, you can see, I got the microphones Got the microphone there. I've got one in between each drum and this one, I have one there and one here. Um, I've got one, on the outside of the bass drum and one in the bass drum. I don't know if you can see. One's in the hole and one is like out in the middle. And then everything is panned. So in the computer I have, well not in the computer, I'll show you. In this right here, everything is panned. So I got the, the kick here and then there's another kick Kick number two is here. So one is, is pointed, is panned over to one to the right, and one's panned over to the left. 
So apparently that's what you're supposed to do. Everything on, on this side of the drum set should be panned to the left. Everything on that side should be panned to the right. That way when you're listening to it, it sounds like the drums are like right, in, like you're in the same room. So I've been trying to get that down, but it's running everything through this and then running just one left and right into that. It just doesn't sound all that great. And I'm just using garage band. Like it's nothing special. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Lee, how's it going? Paper error notes. Um, I, I know a little bit. You didn't have the wrists for it. Yeah, I tell you, man, my my wrist is always hurting. My left wrist hurts all the time. That's why it's hard for me to get good at guitar. I have pretty bad um, arthritis, right? And and like even right now, like right here, this knuckle and this knuckle, it, it hurts. Right here will hurt a lot of times, and and my wrist, like so playing guitar, it's it's hard to get good at it because if I sit and play for an hour. The next day, my wrist will be killing me. My my right shoulder has been bothering me for like a month now. I haven't even been working out or anything. Ugh. Gained like 10 pounds because I'm not working out. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, that's what I was talking about, the mandolin. And this is the Alvarez mandolin. That was from my uh, granddad too. And then that's, this is my, uh, this is what I like to play. This is my Taylor. I'm not really great at acoustic guitar, but I try. I never really learned chords and stuff like that. I just sit down and play really, you know? So a lot of times it's not anything special. Still numbers, but now I refresh live. You fell asleep? Damn. Keevan Rose, what's going on? Sorry, I'm not really keeping track of these. Uh, use a lighter and a small knife. Tip to smooth the wax in the messed up spot. Man, I don't know what we were talking about now. I'm so far behind. <clears throat> but how you been? You do some great work too. I say too, like I've been doing some great work. <laughs> some of it. Some of it's okay, I guess. I did a, um, today I did a uh, pyramid, which... I kind of I screwed it up and had to start over with the back half of it because I, I was pouring through the sand and not up at the top. And uh, <laughs> I went to push through and it popped everything out. And I was like, God dang it. So the whole bottom of it, I had to redo. But it turned out okay. It's upstairs. I didn't bring it down. I'm downstairs in the basement now. But it turned out pretty good. Are you Are you talking about the Jesus saves? Is that what the, the knife you're talking about? I could see, you know, really, if I heat something up flat, oh, wow, this whole thing is kind of weird. If I heated something up flat or hot, like something that is flat, like a piece of metal or something, and then just stick it to it, <laughs> it'd probably melt it flat. <clears throat> Still waiting for the jam session? Man, I don't know if I'm, I don't know. Maybe. Play the hell out of them drums, Dale. <laughs> that was a great movie. Step Brothers was funny as hell. I still laugh the whole way through that movie. Talladega Nights was a good one, too. But Lee, what are you asking about? What about paper error notes? I do know a little bit about it. Sounds like you're getting old. Yeah, I'll be 45 this year. If 
but I've always had issues with my joints. Uh, ever since I can remember when I would bend over and be picking something, if I was like doing something where I'm bent over, I would be kind of stuck and have to like slowly get my back straight again. Like even that's always been an issue. <clears throat> Yeah, I can, uh, whoa, what was that? I'm not good at guitar, but, uh, I do a lot of like that kind of stuff, power chords and just, you know, trying to make a melody kind of thing. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of times what I'll do is just, I'll sit down and just, I'll play and keep playing and keep playing. And then eventually something will sound good. So it's a lot of screw ups and mess ups because I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, like off the top of my head. That's kind of how I play. <laughs> I bought a collection of paper misaligned strike ink smear etc any reference books you can recommend yeah there's um i'll show you one That's not what I'm looking for. Where is that? Oh, this is a good one. And I think the one I just I just saw not that long ago. United States currency. This is a good one that will tell you a lot of a lot of stuff. Large size, small size, fractional. There's a lot of info in this thing. And it tells you what what everything's worth. Now, this is an older book. This is a couple years ago. It was uh twenty dollars, twenty six if you're in Canada. But this is from 2019. But there's a lot of good info in here. I'm trying to think if it's errors. I think it does. There is some error stuff in here. There's a guy that has been selling a lot of this stuff. I, I wish I could remember what his name was. There's a guy that's on... Um, He started selling online, and he was the one that started a lot of the, the fancy serial number stuff and, like, even, like, trinaries. Trinaries weren't even a thing until this guy was, like, selling a bunch of them and got everybody kind of, like, into that stuff. Um, here's a... Wow, straight zeros. Look at that. Do they? I thought I had to start with a one. I didn't even know that they made all zeros. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> That's crazy. Obviously, star notes are cool, but you got to look them up. You can go to starnotelookup.com, and uh, it'll tell you how rare your star notes are. Like, I got one right here. I got this that my mother found, and so I took it and gave her, or just sent it to her, you know, 100 bucks. But when I look it up, it's um, it's not rare, but the run size is kind of rare. So I always save that kind of stuff. But um, misaligned things, that's um, well, that's the wrong thing. <clears throat> I got a couple things I'll show you. I don't know exactly where you can go, but I'm sure you can look online and find all kinds of stuff that has to do with it. If you're trying to look up something in particular, where is my key to this safe? 
Like here's a couple things that I have. Are you, talk, are you talking about like this? Like see how this is off and it's very small on that side and big on that side? Is that what you're talking about? It's better if it's actually like off. Like if it was totally off the page here, you know, that would be a better one. But you can see how big it is there to how small it is there. So this is considered an error. Probably not worth a whole lot more than $2. But it just, it really depends. And then you can have like the two or, or the circle can be like further over than it's supposed to be. You can have like all the numbers can be like over. You can have this number and that number not the same. Those are worth a lot of money. You know that there's a guy, I don't know if he's in, sitting over here. There's a guy that is in this picture that was from the banks of Great Britain. There's a whole story behind that whole thing. Actually, it might have been one of these guys over here. I don't remember. But he was basically the Fed and how everything's controlled. And we thought we were getting away from them, but not really. <laughs> But yeah, I've got some bills I was thinking about putting up the next time. And so that was a couple things that I picked up. Now, now look at this. So they're all, this is probably the best one. And I think they're in, yeah, that's in order too. So that's another thing that's good. Because I have these and they're sequential. That makes them worth even more. So it's, it's misaligned. But you have the 199 and the 200. And look how, look how different that is. Look at that side to that side. Which what you really want is one that's like, like where the green goes to the edge. Like that's what you're really looking for. <clears throat> and then this one I think was 9,000. So it's, it's close, but it's, it's kind of off. You know what I mean? We got 200 and then zero. So this was this was 200 bills before that one. <clears throat> but a cool piece. I'm about to do a, um, a $10. I picked up, man, those are still in my truck too. I picked up uh, five or $600 in $10 bills. I'm going to do a bill search. I'm going to do a video about that. Here's another one. It's a little bit off. But the thing about this is it's a 1976. So a lot of people collect 1976. <clears throat> I don't even remember what this was. Oh, look at this. So this is something that's really cool. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What that's called is a broken ladder. So this bad boy right here is worth a lot of money. Because it's in pretty good shape. There is a um, there's a fold in the middle of it. So that kind of sucks. It's not in the greatest shape. There's a fold here too. And what I find is that if you take your bills that have folds in them. Take them and put them into a really. like a Here I'll show you. I have a book. <clears throat> I have this Home Depot book. Right? Home Improvement. It, it's it's a hard book, so you know I, you could do a paperback. But if you find yourself a hard book, and put your dollars in here, and then stack. If you have weights, like I, I was putting like a hundred pounds on top of it, and letting it sit in the book for like a month or two, and then when you take the weight off and you open it up, they'll be completely flat. You don't want to iron them. If you iron them, you screw them up. They won't be worth anything. Um, I might even have some bills in here now. I forgot about. I wouldn't doubt if that happened. At one point, I had a bunch of stuff in here. But that's what I do with bills that have creases in them and stuff. And I'm trying to get them to look as new as I can. <clears throat> it's a pretty good little, little way to flatten your stuff out. I collect those, what? 
What's what's your birth year? The seventeen or the nineteen seventy six? Well, they, I can uh, put them up in the next auction if you're interested in any of that stuff. I have quite a few of them. Your birthday is the 26th. Well, happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Here's another star note. I got a bunch of star notes, man. This is a, a lower number. Now, what you want to do is have four zeros. But when you're, so it want, you really want to be like in the thousand and it's probably like a low thousand, but even those really aren't that low. Sometimes people will pay extra for them. But if you want to get a low serial number, you want it to be in like the hundreds, like nine, nine, nine and below. That's, that's where the money's at. But if you can find them where it's just like, if you had like a zero, 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 four, all zeros, but a four, like that's going to be worth big money. <clears throat> and of course it's just like coins. It depends on. The shape, like like this twenty right here, has never been creased. It's never been folded. Oh, this so this is a, a these are sequential. I have a two zero six and a two zero seven, brand new. I got these out the bank, and nobody ever touched them before me. And the funny part is, is they're two thousand and seventeen, because that's the year that they changed. What happens is, man, I need to blow my nose. There's a um, there's a treasurer, right? And until there's a new treasurer, this date stays the same. So people thought that in 2020, when the pandemic was happening, and I, this is how I learned, because I thought, I was like, why am I getting all this money, brand new money from 2017, when it's 2020 right now? We're in the middle of this pandemic and everything, and it was like, I was all conspiracy theoried out, <laughs> you know? But uh turns out that until the name changes, they keep that date. So... Just words of the wise. And if you don't know what a star note is, a star note is a reprint. And they're not allowed to reprint the same number twice. So what they'll do is if it has the same number, they have to put a star on it. And what it is, is something got messed up in the printing process. So it didn't even go out to the public. They just printed a bunch of bills out. It got screwed up. Like, you know, some kind of error or the paper could be messed up or misaligned or whatever. Whatever reason they hold it, in order for them to run it again, they have to put a star there instead of instead of the, the letter. Like, see, there's an A right there. They can't do it legally. But there is some $1 bills that got out, and I have at least one of them. I think I have a couple. Um, these right here are uh, silver certificates. Those are highly collectible. We got red seals. Red seals are highly collectible. That's a $2 red seal, and it's a star note, so that's pretty cool. It's got a couple zeros in the beginning, nothing crazy, but and that's just a, a, see, it's got the big two there, and that's got the small two, and the seals on the other side. That's a couple things. Um, here's star notes that are silver certificates, so you got a silver certificate. This, you used to be able to trade this in for one ounce of silver course they quit doing that a long time ago but that's what these were all about and then these were actually star notes too so that was pretty cool this is one that's just in really good shape that's a 1957 i think so i had some of those and i had some these are 1976s I had two more of those 2013 now here's more of those where it's off a little bit. You see how it's kind of small there and it's a lot bigger there. This is a pack that is all sequential, I believe. I think that's what this was. Nine, seven, nine, three, yeah. So it's, it's a few notes in here. But I, I used to collect everything. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose, I'll be right back.
Sorry guys, it's time of year. My nose is always crazy. But so look, I got we're gonna bill search these. Cause I did a video that I still get views on. And uh, it was a ten it was a seven hundred dollars worth of ten dollar bills I searched and didn't even really find a whole lot. And I've got some really cool bills I want to throw into that video. But that video is always getting good views. So I wanted to make another one of those. So we got some star notes. And then this is more of those $2 bills that were sequential, I think, is all those are. So yeah, people will pay. I mean, if you can get... I remember this might have been like a year ago. Somebody had a $2... I think the $2 a stack is 200 if I'm not mistaken. So it's 100 of them, $2 bills. That's like a, a stack, you know, with the little thing on it. Um, I think they were selling that because they were all sequential. I think they were selling that for like 300 bucks. So they were making 50% off of it. You know, it's $200 of bills, and they were selling it for 300 bucks because they were sequential, but they were all in mint condition. And you know how you can really tell when something's in mint condition? If you feel right here, it feels like that circle is raised. And right here, same thing. But this, the green one, always feels like it's raised right there. That's how you know you got something brand new. <clears throat> and obviously, you don't want any creases or anything like that. But yeah, I had a, a stack myself. And then I spilled something on one of them and kind of screwed it all up on the side and uh, ended up just kind of breaking them up and only saving the ones that didn't have that on it. But there is ink errors too. Like I had a $2 bill that came in that in one of those and I sold it. But right here, it had, it had a line that went down. It had a, a black line just in the middle of nowhere. And that was from something in the printing process. And they let it get out. But this one, this is a really good one. Having a broken ladder. The only thing that would be better is if it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in order. But if you find anything that's all different numbers, that's usually like what a broken ladder is. And it doesn't matter. Now, it could go backwards, and that would be considered a ladder. Um, like if it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that way. But being all jumbled up, that makes it a broken ladder. So that, that's a good one. People will pay good money. Now, if you get a binary and you get like a true binary where it's all ones and twos, or is it zeros and ones? I, don't, I can't remember if it's zeros and ones or ones and twos, but they call it like a true binary. Um, but any binary. I had, I had a binary that was all twos and one four. Those are good ones too. If you can... Things are worth more money if you if you have like a um, seven digits in a row, or 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 seven of the same number. There's only a certain amount of bills. Yeah, so it's 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 very rare to find it. And if you go to StarNoteLookup.com, you can look up any kind of fancy number. Like you can just look up regular and just any serial number and see. It'll give you like a coolness factor. Right, some of them are like ninety-eight percent. Some of them, I think, there's even a hundred percent where it's like amazing. Um, but I've got quite a few bills that are like ninety-five percent, ninety-eight percent, and you would think like they're not really all that great. So it's kind of cool to look through that. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna be letting go of some of that stuff. I've got some things right here. Like, look at this. This is old. But look at the difference in the size. That's what they call a horse blanket. Because it's such a big bill, it could cover a horse, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I have a, a, a one and a five. Now, it's in terrible shape. but And then it has some, some stuff I picked up from somebody in the community. It was just a bunch of this and that. And then the gold backs. You guys like the gold backs? Gold backs are cool. Like the 1, the 5, the 10, the 25, and the 50. And here's like a euro gold, 500 euro. And then we got a $10 or 10th, 10th gram Liberty. Pretty cool piece. 
I don't even know if that person's still here. They haven't been even saying anything. <laughs> Are you still here? But yeah, that's some of the pieces that I have. I was thinking about either putting up for auction or uh, holding on to forever. Who knows? And I've got plenty more than that even. I used to have a, a small safe that was full of this stuff. I, I saved every star note. I saved every kind of like cool, fancy serial number. Anything that was sequential. I had like, I think $15,000 in cash saved up that way. And it was the only way that I could save cash. Of course, I don't have it anymore. I went through a lot of that stuff. So what I just showed you is pretty much what I had. I got a few more in the, in the safe there, but it's not much. But um, yeah, for a while there, I was collecting just everything I could get my hands on. And before that, I, there, I could not save money if my life depended on it. I just could not save cash. And once I started looking for star notes and fancy serial numbers and things like that, errors, that's when I was able to start saving again or start saving in the first place. And then uh, I started stacking around that same time too. So not only could I stack, but I could save cash. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a great way to save cash. And then when you do go to get rid of it, like if it's not a, a rare serial number, when you go to get rid of it, um, I think it's a great conversation piece. Like I usually will talk to somebody. If I know I have a star note and it's not that rare, but I want to get, if I'm going to use it to pay, I'll talk to that person and say, look, this is a star note. Do you know what a star note is? And kind of explain it to them. And, you know, usually it'll strike up a conversation. I've met quite a few people that um, have family members or them themselves are like coin collectors and, and things like that. So I've actually hooked up with a few people that, uh, that do that. So it was kind of cool. Might even be able to make some sales at some point. And there's one guy, there's one girl, her uh, husband is um, looking to buy some coins and things like that. So I was going to reach out to her and be like, hey, what's your husband's number? Can I call him? He, he can call me, stop by the channel sometime or whatever if I'm doing an auction. You know, just a great conversation piece, really. A lot of people don't even know about Star Notes. But the ones you're looking for are the ones that are rare. That's really what you're trying to get. <clears throat> anyway, I don't even think that person's still here anymore. <laughs> I really went off on a tangent there, did I not? <clears throat> Can't believe there's still five people here. <clears throat> James. <laughs> kind of some of the crap I try to do <laughs> just playing around doing something till it sounds kind of good <laughs>
think of uh <laughs> That was like one of the first songs I kind of uh, made up myself on acoustic. <laughs> See, that's what happens a lot of times. I'll be just kind of playing something and then I just go off on like a left turn somewhere <laughs> and then keep coming back till something sounds good. Like that's all I ever do is jam. So just think when you're, when you're sitting here and you're listening to me play, something's going to sound really weird at some point and you'll be like, what the hell? But that's me trying to figure something out. <laughs> that's just how I play until I get to a place where that's how I write songs, you know, try to get to a place where something sounds decent, you know? all off the top of my head. That's what, like right now, I'm trying to figure out like what sound is in my head and I'm trying to put it to my hands. <laughs> you know what I mean?
trying to do like man it's not coming out right See, like, I'll just sit there and just keep doing shit over and over until something sounds like it could be a rhythm or a song or whatever. Rhonda, what's going on? I'm just jamming out, picking up the guitar, and uh, getting crazy. I'm not good. I never said I was. But I'm just, you know, having fun, and people are here hanging out, so... Hey, by the way, I am, uh, I was trying to make something for you, and I'm not there yet, so I haven't sent a package your way yet, but you will be getting something cool. Um, I'm thinking this Friday, maybe, going live and doing something. I was, I was going to try to get an auction together, but I think I'm going to have to wait till the following weekend, just because I want to, uh, I want to have enough stuff ready. And it, it's just been raining so much, I haven't had a chance to really do much in the past few weeks. Um, I did a little bit today, but, uh, you know, the rest of this week, I'm going to be definitely pouring as much as I can, but I don't think I'm going to be ready for an auction. Then again, I don't know. I, I don't have to necessarily put up a bunch of, uh, you know, I can put other stuff up. It doesn't have to be pours because I have tons of things that I'm, I'm trying to let go of. So I'm kind of up in the air with, should I do it Friday? And then I was thinking, well, if I don't, maybe I should do like a, a 1K slash 1500 uh, subscriber giveaway thank you kind of thing because I was going to do that in my mail calls. But then I was thinking maybe maybe I could just do it in a live stream and then we can hang out and the, the people that are watching I know will win, you know. I wasn't going to announce anything anyway. I was just going to tell you, leave a comment down below and you're going to win this piece, you know, in my mail calls, which I think would be cool and the right people will win. But... I don't know, I think it'd be more fun for you guys if you can come hang out and we can just, you know, do whatever. And then if anybody wants to donate something or give some of their own stuff away, which I know people love to do in this community, and I've done it for a lot of channels. Um, but yeah, I have one piece I need to give away that was from Plumber Stacker, and um, I would love to do that in its own video. But I know he was kind of, I don't know. I never said I was going to do a 1K like party or anything because back then I didn't do live streams. And to be honest, I was kind of scared to death of live streams. So, I don't know. But if you're free this Friday, you know, I might go live and do something at some point. And, um, oh, that's another thing I was thinking. Maybe <clears throat> I'll just, I'll go live. I'll auction off a few things. And then if anybody's interested in like, you know, doing some kind of donation thing where if you don't want to like donate something, you can buy something like Plumber did in the last one. You can buy something, I'll put it up and we'll start it like buck and go, something cheap. And then if you guys want to like bid on something and then I can give it away, that could be cool too. Or just auction a few things off so at least I have some money for shipping. Because um, th there's like a, a red book a 2024 red book I want to give away, and that's probably going to cost 12 bucks to ship, at least probably 11. Um, and then I have that digital microscope, and it's just, you know, I don't have a whole lot of money to be putting into uh, shipping right now. So, I don't know. But anyway, we'll figure it out one way or another. But I, I am, there's something I'm making you. I just, I, I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, get into the pouring. But um, I'm going to try to get that done this week so I can ship it out to you because it's awesome and I want you to have it. And I think that there's a better way to do, to do it from the original thing I was thinking about. Um, I don't know. But anyway, I'm at least going to send you, you know, my stickers and, and all the swag and, you know. But you deserve more than that. You've been a big help and I, I really appreciate you, so. Yeah. Anyway. So what's cool about this computer is um, there's a lot of different... 
There's a lot of stuff in here, like in GarageBand. Oh, come on, man. Get out of the way. Why is this not working? There it goes. <clears throat> GarageBand is cool because there are so many things that you can mess with. Look, we just lost everybody. There's all these different... <laughs> That gives you a lot of extra. <laughs> but there's just so many different things to choose from in here. Not feeling good? I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like 86 is kind of low. Well, I hope you uh, feel better. I know you were talking about needing to to have some stuff done. I don't want to, you know, put your business out there. Ooh, I don't want to put your business out there, but you know, I remember you talking about something. So I hope that, uh, I hope you get well soon. <clears throat> Whoa, I was about to knock that over. Yeah, clean guitar. That doesn't sound tuned. I think something's off. This actually has a tuner built into it, too. Actually, here, why don't I even pull that up? Check it out. Need new strings? Yeah, I probably do on this one too. My tailor really needs new strings. I use um, I use uh, Elixir, so it's got like that coating on it. And after you play them for a while, the coating kind of starts to wear away, and it just sounds like crap. On top of feels weird. I'm gonna have to play drums in a minute. Been, been feeling that all day like I just want to beat the crap out of my drums whoa <laughs> yeah I love that you always get that pop and it's like way off after that it's garage band apple I don't even plug up to my amp anymore. That That's the amp that I play. Line 6. I tell you what. The insane distortion right there sounds amazing. I might hook that up in a minute just so you can hear it. But, um, but yeah, this is just GarageBand. Now it went the other way. Are you kidding me? It keeps popping on me. It just popped both ways. <laughs> what the hell? But this is like, like my other tuner, it would already be telling me it's on. You can like really get tight 
with this one. And I'm playing a, a Gibson Les Paul, which, you know, don't stay tuned very great. good enough. I try to play like, I don't know how to play at all, right? I just jam. I just play music, right? I just taught myself how to do it. So, what I, like right now, I'm trying to play what I would play on an acoustic guitar, and it does not sound good on electric, even when it's clean. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... Chicken picking. <laughs> that sounds nice. That sounds pretty cool. I like the deepness of it. Clean echoes. It sounds off every now and again. It's okay. I am not professional. <laughs> to do I'm trying to go up because hitting it down every time is easy but you can't do it fast enough so if I start on the up it's just so hard for me to keep going after that yeah I need to practice I'm very um, rusty right now anyway but Here's a song that I made up. That was something I did. It was kind of like a um. It doesn't sound right in that, but. I don't know what I was playing it on, but it was a song that I came up with, and I think it was almost kind of like a rap chorus. Or verse, and then the chorus was uh, like singing, but.
like that though. stuff. I like that, like, mystery chorus. kind of cool sounding. Take long for Gibson to get out of tune, man.
That's kind of a weird sound, but I like it. Black DI Brown tone metal
I forgot, like, where am I trying to go here? What am I doing? By the way, this is all freestyling. I'm just kind of jamming out. That's all I do. So, if it sucks every now and again, my bad. I don't know chords. I just kind of play. Sounds like shit. I think that's enough of botching the guitar. <laughs> I am very rusty and don't know how to play anyway, so, you know. Take it for what it is. Right, so now I moved them up, and now it's all jacked up. Then I had the seat for too much.
Keep fucking up, y'all.
For those of you, if you're here, I'm just kind of jamming. I'm freestyling off the top of my head. I have no idea what I'm playing, so. And this is way too high. I really need to lower this a little bit. Shit, that's not the right one. set everything up a little different than normal and it's like really messing with me even my seat is like out of place there I think that's better
I'm so jacked up with the way the pedals are. I was trying to adjust everything earlier, and it took me a minute to really get there. But uh, hey, there's two people still here. Play Freebird. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that great at drums. I'm not that great at guitar, but I wanted to jam out a little bit. I had some people here and figured I'd try it out. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, Thursday, I will be live again at 2.30. Maybe at 2 if I can get there. But uh, 2.30 to 4.30, I will be live pouring some more stuff. Today, I poured a uh, pyramid. So that was cool. It was about a three-ounce pyramid. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, that's it. I'm going to end this. I don't know what time it is, but it says I've been live streaming for 368 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Holy crap. It's getting close to 9 o'clock. Anyway, guys. Um, this Friday, I don't know if I'm going to do an auction, but um, we might go live and, and hang out and auction a few things off. And then maybe uh, do some giveaways with the mail calls and things like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, Carol, you're still here. I appreciate you. Um, man, I kept screwing up, didn't I? <laughs> I'm so rusty when it comes to drums and guitar. But, uh, anyway. At least I tried, right? You don't get better if you don't practice. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how to play anything. I just, uh, kind of jam. I do what sounds good to me. And, uh, trying to get better at the double bass. And the pedals are so jacked up, though. I had them set too far forward then they were too far back and i think i got them in the middle but i'm not used to them at the same time so there's a couple times there i was like where is my foot on this thing but uh anyway i appreciate you guys hanging out and um yeah i guess we'll just end it there um maybe next time we can play a little acoustic guitar or something but um i don't know anyway thank you guys i appreciate everybody carol i will send that out to you within the next couple days and um I'll send you some extra stickers and, and all my little designs and everything. I don't know. You'll be happy with the bag I send, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, thank you for all of your support. I really do appreciate you guys, especially the ones that are always here every time. I really do appreciate that. I wish I could go in here and change. Oh, wait, can I? Holy crap. Carol, type something. I didn't know I could do that from here. Type in like, woo woo. <laughs> Just type something in. I want to see if it worked. Carol. 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 Like a smiley face, something. Type something in. Come on, Carol, you can do it. Just hit the buttons. It doesn't matter what buttons. Any of them will do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Would you leave me? There you go. I made you a moderator. I didn't realize I could do that through the phone here. So that worked out pretty cool. I need to do... Serpent, too. There we go. Serpent, I don't know if you're still here, but you're a moderator, too. Alright, I gotta get off here, guys. It's late. So, uh, yeah, Thursday, 2.30. Maybe earlier, but by 2.30 I'll be live, and uh, we'll pour something. I'll have some, probably some stuff done tomorrow, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour all day tomorrow, and uh, try to get some stuff ready for next week. Or this week. I, I'm so indecisive. I, I can't really make up my mind. But it'll uh, it'll happen. Anyway, yeah. You don't know how. You don't really have to do anything. Um, basically, if people come in and start being crazy, you can kick them out. Um, you can put them on timeout, really, is what it is. So people are, like, saying dumb stuff, you know. You're basically just there to watch over in case anything goes wrong. But, um... But yeah, you don't have to do anything. I just need people to know what's up when you're here. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining me. 
I should have got a pretty good amount. Of, oh, look, we did get 30 likes. Awesome. I ended up giving that quarter away at 20, but we still got it to 30 anyway, so that's cool. I appreciate you guys, all two of you. <laughs> but we had 30 at one point that liked it, so that's amazing. I bet you the watch hours are going to be pretty crazy on this one. But, uh, but yeah, trying to get to 3,000 watch hours. That way we can start doing like the super stickers and super chat and all that stuff. So that'll be fun. Um, nobody has to, but it'll be fun if we can get to that. But anyway, all right, guys, I got to go. Have a great night. Like I always say, I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.